to what is up, people? It's Friday, baby. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. September 2nd. It's September. It's supposed to be cooling off, but it is hot as heck <laughs> today. It's so hot, we have the AC blaring, so if I'm in a schwitz, you know why. That's hot. We have uh, no sponsors, of course, today, because... Uh, <laughs> but we are joined They're by... They're missing out. Yeah, I know. That's what I always think, too. But we are joined today by Pokimane. Or as I like to call her, Pokemon. I heard somebody backstage say that. I or mean, why you guys got to take me out? All right, so Who yeah. Who said that? Who told or, her, oh, Ethan calls you Pokemon? I heard one of you guys say that. That's not what was said. Let me explain. Let me you explain. Just no, I, yourself. That's not what I, was said. Let me explain how it's said. <laughs> what did you say, Olivia? I said, is it is it yeah. Pokemon? Yeah. And then yeah. Oh, you were you snitching on me though? Not no, 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 no. She you're was just, just asking which it is, now. and I was like, I'll explain on the show. Don't worry about it. So I always tell people like, just call me Pokey, so you don't have to worry about it. But essentially, my name is Iman. I am Annie. Yeah. So when I first made my gamer tag, I was like, oh, I love the game Pokemon and my mm -hmm. name Iman. So I was like, Pokemon. Oh, okay. So that's what it's kind of supposed to be. But obviously when you read it as an English speaker, it, it reads like Pokemon. So I don't yeah. mind when people say that. Wait, is it not Pokemon? Pokemon. It's kind of everything. Oh, so it does say, po it is Pokemon. It's like Pokemon. I made it with the intention to it be. It is Pokemon. Yes. But, you were right. But yeah, well, I don't I mind if people say Pokemon because that's what most people say. Yo, we need a Nintendo lawsuit up in this bitch. You're there very litigious. I'm on you. No, I, every time I say that, I'm also like, so I'm okay with Pokemon because I'm not trying to catch a Nintendo oh, lawsuit. Oh, hell no. Because I know they, they do that sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Okay, before we get too deep into it, I just want to say because we don't have a sponsor, Eli, you can introduce this. We have okay. the Teddy Fresh. Uh, we have oh, Teddy really Fresh, our classics line came out and um i personally really love the color palette here it's like this washed out they all have this amazing wash um pigment very dye. wearable yeah very wearable nice I'm, tone i'm wearing the, the women's like shrunken and she looks amazing in it wow <laughs> a queen <laughs> Where and I? Ethan is war wearing the pocket tee. And he looks amazing he looks in it. Wow. Luxurious. Wait, hold on. Cut Skinny the legend. Profile. Damn. <laughs> Looking like Majin Buu from this angle. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Wait, what the fuck did you say about that? <laughs> It was too perfect of a Wait. setup. You had your stomach on the toe. What did the you say? I didn't hear you. You didn't hear. I said, looking like Majin Buu from this angle. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Okay, Who's Majin Buu? He's a legend. <laughs> pull up a picture. Pull up a picture. <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> pull it up. Pull it up. I'm sorry, but like, I'm just not going to stand with this AB plan. Pokemon got it. Okay, oh, fine. Who the fuck is Manju Boo? Oh, it's a bro, Dragon Ball Z. Okay, all right. You're you're fired, bro. Get the fuck out. You're such a dick. It's a, it's a very cute reference, I will say. He's a beloved character. Yeah, I'm sure. As he are is. you, Ethan. A beloved I just, character. AB pretends like he's the simp, and then he makes me look bad every episode. AB, I didn't like, make AB. No, you lost. I'm trying Zach to make your show simp. funny. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Er, Always be top simp here. Zach, you're the simp. AB's Love the you, baby. I think Razor. whoever is the best simp, we should swap their tables. Like, they should come closer. Ooh. Oh, I like that Ooh. idea. Certified <laughs> simp seat. Anyway, today we're going to do it. Like, obviously, we're joined by Pokemon. Actually, can I steal the show for a moment? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Steal it. All right. I want to preface by saying long time, big time fan with peace and love for like six years. Oh, wow. I've That's been watching crazy. you guys. Yeah. Since I was in college. Nice. Like what? still streaming part time. Me and my roommates, anytime you guys would drop a video. This was back in like the Vape Nation days and like mm -hmm. um, kind of like more reactionary content stuff. Mm -hmm. And every time you guys would drop a video, we would all get together as roommates and put it on the TV wow. and watch Aww. together. That's awesome. And it's been amazing <laughs> seeing you guys transition to like live stream podcast content, seeing Ela create Teddy Fresh and then like pour her literal heart and soul into it and make it such a massive company. Like just wow. Businesswoman. Thank you. Woman. So Thank you. Deserves all the love Thank in the world. You. Um, but yeah, you. I think you guys are so cool, amazing. Thank you. And Aww. I know, like, you know, there's there's haters for everybody. 
Why? I me? think when everybody, <laughs> I love me, me too, me too, man. But I think especially when you start streaming, like you just say so much. Of course, at some point, like there are takes that maybe I don't agree with that you probably don't agree like, with that you used to say. Like, oh, okay. yeah. But that doesn't mean we can't come together for hopefully a beautiful, entertaining show. Wait, what have I today. said? Let's talk about it. Wait. Take the compliment first. Oh, oh, I don't know. Let's talk. It's like, well, let's let's get to the heart of it. Oh my God! Thank you so much. That is oh, like you're so, well. so let's nice. Just get right so, into so it. And yeah, thank you. We've always oh. had only support and appreciation to you as well. Yeah, yeah. Being yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. a female Oof. streamer, women, the biggest, the biggest female. Women in the in the Streamer. gaming industry, yeah, is hard out here. It's, they're they don't yeah. like to see us women succeed they don't want to see they really man. don't but that's true <laughs> we have a lot of respect for you and we've we yeah. pretty much align on everything so we've always been a supporter of you we love seeing you in the chat and Thanks it's gonna so be much. a fun episode it to sure sit here will. together let's get it and what dbz I, character does she look like uh, uh <laughs> i don't think anyone on dbz really has curly curly hair i was just gonna say i told you off screen but i will say it here too your hair looks Amazing. Thanks. And oh, it took a lot of courage. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe. Hold on one sec. Okay, Gabe. Uh, hold oh, that you, thought. you get the no shirt special. Now, now they're saying I look like Kirby. I mean, guys, do I ever? Oh get, can I catch God. a break? That Wait, is so but he's the cute. cutest. I didn't, that is so I didn't cute. tell y'all to set it out this table. I'm doing my best here. This angle don't make anyone look But he's the cutest, Kirby. Ethan. Okay. He's such a legend. But do you want to fuck Kirby? <laughs> uh, um, someone out there surely does. There it is. <laughs> One for <Eli>. everyone. <laughs> Gabe, hey, what's up, buddy? You're looking good, man. It's I hot. It's so, it? it's so hot outside. The concrete's like, it's enough to fry an egg. I'm going to crack an egg on the concrete to see how it is. Okay, that's Ooh. interesting. We're doing a little science experiment with Gabe here Whoa. on Friday. Oh, uh, let me see that. Oh. Maybe a black surface would have worked better, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't you hey. do it like in a pan? I hear some sizzling. Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday, baby. Ow! Friday, baby. Fuck, baby. Fuck yeah! What you doing Pissing today? Pissing my ass, bitch! <laughs> Pissing <laughs> piss <laughs> my dick, bitch! Pissing my dick, bitch! <laughs> Tits in my Some dick, but Tits in my dick! <laughs> <laughs> you got you. But -hole. Your butt -hole. Yeah. Shit in my <laughs> nose, baby! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I, I heard you. I heard you come out with a new one on tick on Instagram or TikTok. It was um. Oh yeah. How you doing? Yeah, that one. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? It's Friday, baby. It's Shit in my it's asshole. Baby. <laughs> How's the egg? Show me the egg. Let's get a close up there. Any movement? Mm, nope. Um, <laughs> I don't see a lot of movement. No, is it cooking at all or no? Can we get a close up? Uh, what do you think, I mean, babe? I hear sizzling, right? Yeah. 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 Do we hear sizzling, Gabe? I think I hear sizzling. I, it's not a hot enough, but it's like hot outside. Right, it's like right, 110. Right. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Baby, let's go! It's Friday! Let's go! Friday, you, uh, are you familiar with the uh, White Clock Gabe? Do you want to sit I mean, question? he's on every podcast. Come every on Friday, now, of course. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, do you, this is Pokemon. Hi, Gabe. Twitch streamer. Do you want to say hi to her? Pokemon. Hello. Yeah, Pokemon. I do know. Pokemon. He knows. Yeah, he Pokemon. knows. Pokemon. Woo! The Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon in my Pokemon. ass, bitch. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no no promises. Hey, <laughs> nice to meet you, Gabe. Hey, Gabe, Pokeball, throw a Pokeball in my butt, bitch. <laughs> Pokemon in my butt, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> hey, Gabe, I got a Pokemon in my butt. Let's catch it with a ball, baby. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. boy. How you doing? How you doing? Going on, How you doing? 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 Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck me. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby. Oh, my God. You got any plans? Really this like that. this is the best way to start a Friday. There's no other better Friday way. Friday warm up. Gabe, you got any plans this hot, beautiful summer weekend? Three-day weekend, baby. Oh, it's a long weekend. I say four-day weekend, starting today. Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, and Monday. What's Let's a, go. Wait, four-day weekend. What's off about today? You just don't work or what? 
Oh, Friday is kind of like everybody's choice for a three-day weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the bonus is Labor Day. Sexy, fuck yeah, bitch. <laughs> Gabe, I've been meaning to ask you. Isn't tech? I mean, do you, you don't have like a job, right? I mean, you do cameo. The cameos, I do like other things too. <laughs> oh, you you do have a work. TikTok. Because the whole concept of a weekend is kind of interesting for you, because yeah. I think the technically concept, it's everything... Like, it's like everybody has to have a day out to enjoy their life right, out right, of work, right, you know? Right. Shit, right. Every so day's a weekend for day. him, baby. That, that's, what I, that's what I was getting at. So wait, you, yeah. you do have a day job? You work during the week? No, not really. No. <laughs> we love this is my job. <laughs> It's Friday yeah. every day, baby. Yes, sir. Friday, motherfucker. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I see the power breakers behind you. Is the power stable in your house? You guys doing okay? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> we are good. Okay, good. Got a lot of fuel and stuff for like fuel? 110. It's almost like Vegas, baby. Oh, it is. Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got any big plans this weekend or not? I get some hookers, baby. Oh, uh, and, some, and some tequila <laughs> shots, motherfucker. Fuck <laughs> yeah! Wait, where do you get your hookers what from? What the hell? Oh, someone gave it to me. <laughs> someone gave you one, and you just go with it. Yeah. What? Hey, Gabe. Fuck yeah! Hey, Gabe, what's your huh. favorite sexual position, may I ask? Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe you got it. Maybe the doggy style or the, the stretch open leg position in the front. Maybe. Whatever. Wait, they, stretch open, open leg from the front? All right, hold on. Very specific. <laughs> like spread eagle? Dang. Okay, okay, Gabe. Let's okay. get after it this weekend. Well, I'll, all right. All right, Gabe. You, <laughs> you have a good time with those hookers and stay cool, okay, bud? All right. Oh, how's Thank the you. egg? How's the egg? The egg? <laughs> <laughs> well... It lives. <laughs> yeah. How you? What's your plan to clean that up? By the way, are you just gonna leave it? If it's not gonna fry, then I'll just pick it up. Yeah, yeah. You? Can I see one? Can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> BTS game. I just, you know, I just would like to see that. I think it could be interesting. Yeah. We got a drum yeah. roll for you, Gabe. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. So we're. The egg. So we are traveling through the uh, living room, headed to what looks like the kitchen. Yeah. What are we looking for? Are you gonna use a glove? Towels. Use towel? paper towel. Mm, paper, paper towel. towel. Okay. okay. Good. Good choice. Oh yeah. <laughs> now is that what you would pick, uh, use, Pokey? A paper towel? What would be your technique mm. on this? Yeah, the yellow. Honestly, already. there's got to be layers Pokey. to it. Maybe you get some of it with the paper towel, but then you have to use like water to right. kind of clean it. Oh, hose it. Hose oh, it. Gotta hose it, it down. Yeah. Let me see. Let Maybe me see. after the soap, hose it. Yeah. That's Let beautiful. me see what's going on down there, Gabe. Oh. Yeah, I think you're right, Pokey. You would need kind of a. Oh. Yeah. Not cooked, huh, bud? <laughs> Not quite Not high cooked. enough. But Raw. Right. But Dang. consider how much he's doing for the content mm -hmm. of this podcast. The man, you know? yeah. he always delivers. He really does. Yeah. Gabe, we Ooh. love you. You have a great weekend, okay, bud? <laughs> Appreciate it. Ooh. Ooh. Have a good Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Yeah. What, what happened to your eye? <laughs> what happened to your eye? Get in my eyes. Sweat and get in my eyes because it's so sweating outside because it's so hot. Right. Uh, ow. 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 Shit, my, yeah. shit my fucking belly button, uh, bitch. <laughs> shit my fucking armpit and squeeze it down, bitch. Gross. <laughs> Oh. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you very much. Whoa. All right. All right, buddy. You have to right here, baby. We love you. All right. Bye, Gabe. Bye. We love you, Gabe. Yeah, let's go, one. Ciao. We love you. Ciao. Ciao, my bella. Ciao, my bella. What was that? Let me stop. My bella. Ciao, my bella, bitch. Ciao, my bella. Ciao, my bitch. Ciao. Oh, my bella. That's kind of therapeutic. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 It's Friday, baby. Woo. Well, it started as woo, but it turned into like a wolf howl. Yeah. We're like a wolf howl. <laughs> it does something for the soul, you know? Yeah. Absolutely, man. That's why we have them on every Friday. Just, you can't beat it. Wait, I remembered one other thing I wanted to mention. <laughs> Frenemies was so iconic for internet culture, man. I know, I know it's a chapter you guys closed, but uh -huh. I gotta say, <laughs> 
just because it's something I think you guys should always be proud of, you know? I am. Especially because it was during the pandemic. Oh my God, That's was that something true. I looked forward to you know, every single damn week. Thank wow. you. I think it was a special show. I mean, it really, it was. a lot of people bonded with that show. And I, I'm very proud of that chapter. It's just that there's a lot of... It's just kind of insane There's how been much a lot of aftermath there was yeah. <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes yeah. within yeah. E specifically Eva's family, as you know. <laughs> the married... way people on Twitch would say that, it's like borderline scripted, you know? Oh, people thought, well, right. people were accusing us of faking it. But Trish is about they to have that baby. They must know you then, because that's, <laughs> that's, you know. I would never. Yeah. I, I yeah. Would never. I know. I would never even joke. Especially about in relation to family, weird. it like I don't think right. you guys would ever cross those lines. No. Bro, I'm are you kidding me? It's like I would never joke about it, let alone let it happen. I mean shit. But but either way, is, I think remember it for the good thing that it was. Yeah. yeah time for so like millions of people. It still gets a lot of views. People still go back and watch the episode. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. But um yeah, she's about to have that baby, which is kind of insane. No. She's about to have a I baby. I saw a photo yesterday. She was, like, posing. Yeah, she's <laughs> due, like, in any week here now, which is pretty insane. <laughs> right, guys? Olivia? Yeah, yeah we're, sitting, we're just getting to move on. <laughs> yeah. Olivia's like, nah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's Go right. next. Go next. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to okay, say so something I, don't, I, I probably shouldn't say. Yeah, thank you, Joe. So before we get too deep into this, mm -hmm. we actually do have a surprise for you. <gasps> we're so happy to have you here. I don't know if you know our crew member in Sweden. His name is Love. I know everybody. Okay, thank you. Well, great. You guys so need to tell me anyone's to names. Like, I know. <laughs> so Love bot suffered a grievous wound and he hasn't oh. been in his love bot recently he's just been on that <gasps> monitor behind ab oh i see and people have been missing love bot yeah him so walking around or rolling around rolling around, <laughs> rolling around <Yeah>. and <laughs> rolling around you know we really miss we really miss his presence in the office but most of all he's he's got into the broken love bot because he's a big fan and he wanted to say hi to you. So Let's Lovebot is here. Go. We fired him back up uh, just for her. Bring right? him out, bring him out. Yes. Yeah. We have a whole uh, a package to show mm. the process of uh, oh. surviving him. Okay, so here's kind of the behind the scenes of us preparing Lovebot mm -hmm. to uh, meet you, his one of his favorite streamers. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> so whenever you guys are ready, we'll roll that. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This this is not really working. What? What's Look, what's not working? What are you talking about? I don't know. Like this new love bolt, it's so bulky. Like I feel like a furniture just in the corner of the room. No, don't I say don't that. Know. No, 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 no. You're important. Just like part of this crew. I was just warming up to it, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't I feel like it. just. It's just so fat and bulky, oh, and I can't you move. Look, you're a skinny legend. You look great. Stop, stop talking about yeah. yourself like that. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Where's this coming from? What's up, bud? It's okay. I don't know. Like, I I know Pokemon is coming tomorrow and stuff like that. So. Mm, right. Yeah. Ah. That's what it is. I, you, know, you know, I just want to be like more presentable and stuff like that. Are you presentable? Um, no, for sure. I don't know. You guys know I'm a big fan of some uh, stuff like that. I don't know. I just, just doesn't feel right. I see. I see what this is yeah. about. Well, listen, mm -hmm. I feel bad suggesting this. It's a little dangerous. It's dipping into the dark arts a little bit, but there's a few things I could maybe do for you to spruce you up a little bit. Oh, really? I, at this point, dude, whatever, whatever, dude. I, I'm, I'm over this. Like, you have, you have to do something, Dad. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Yeah. get to work.
train! Hype train! Yes! It's not working. Thank you for the gifted! Thanks for the gifted! <laughs> it's finished. Yeah, so against the, all the odds and at great length and effort, we have revived a brand new, new and improved Lovebot 2.0 back in Let's perfect go. condition just for the occasion of meeting uh, Pokey. I'm honored. Love, welcome. How do you feel now to be back in a revived Lovebot? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm almost a real boy. Uh, and uh, I think this counts. Yeah, I'm very excited though. What's up? Hello, uh, hello, Pokey. Your, you have something in your hand there. Oh my God, is that for me? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, just. I'm, I'm trying to take it off. <laughs> yeah, you know, you glued. Could, you just oh, yeah, pull yeah. it off. Yeah, you can. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Thank yeah, you so there you much, go. love. Thank you. Of course, okay, love, no so, worries. I mean, obviously, you've been building towards this for a while now. Is there something you wanna uh, you wanna say hi to your favorite creator? I mean, you have the, the little picture of you. You probably noticed, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I was actually... Okay, you want to know how big of a fan I am? I not only watch your podcast, I watch it with my friends in Discord. So me and my oh. friend... Yeah, we'll just like... Shout out. We'll screen share... Yeah, shout out Kent. He's a homie. <laughs> we'll screen share your podcast and like watch it at the same time. And when we first saw that pop up, he was like, Hey, yo, it's you. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, oh my God, it is me. So thank you. I feel like a free sponsor. <laughs> Oh, I, absolutely. I no. payment for including oh. me in your podcast all the time. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you, love, you know. Now's your chance. Uh, I mean, you're well, probably not going to get another chance, so I don't know. Right, exactly. Say. So I want to start off by saying, you know, thank you for streaming and entertaining me over the years. You know, I, I, I've been on Twitch forever. You know, I'm actually a World of Warcraft Andy, so I've been on Twitch oh forever, you know. Si yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, since uh, the, you know. So I've been here. Like uh, nine years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, he's uh, a big time Twitch guy. He loves all the Twitch people. He watches yeah. everybody. Yeah. So, everyone. And, the, he streams at the same time? Or... During our show? Not oh, at the same no. time, but like afterwards, <laughs> no, no. he'll be like, I'm going live, he right? Does, you go fast. You do go live pretty fast <laughs> after the show. I, no, he goes yeah. live, like, I don't. Right at the that. end. Uh, you're right. Wow, he does you're do so that. <laughs> You're actually uh, right, love. You do do that. Don't lie. That is not oh, true, shit. but that is Stop. totally. Did we right. notice that before? Yeah. Where he went called out. That's okay. That was A B. That was A B. <laughs> I never did that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> that was me. I'm sorry. That love. was me, but yeah. I was on vacation at the time, and I thought you were done because you said this <laughs> was ending. Just that part. All right, all right. All right you, all right. you know, oh, actually, okay. just to go on a side note here and to credit myself, I actually take very big precautions to make. Uh, it's not like a a tree after show, you know, I want to make uh, my own thing. Uh, okay. so yeah, yeah. yeah, you want to do your Anyhow. own thing, right? Yeah. yeah, you know, and I don't yeah. want to like uh, piggyback on Ethan's success or anything like that. So yeah, you know. I respect that, I respect uh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. very so respectable. It's pretty well. Thank but, uh, you so much for the love and support. Love, you the best. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, and yeah, uh, as as I said, uh, thank you for the countless hours of uh, entertainment. And I That's think so I have a, a, another another little gift on me somewhere. I don't know, actually, know exactly yeah, where it is. Yeah. Might be in my pocket. Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, there it is. Oh, great. So yeah. I mark my words. I will put this up on my stream. No. <laughs> you did it for oh, me. God. I'll do it for you. Okay. No. Uh, no. Yeah. Do you guys is have true? stickers or anything? For yeah. like H3 Teddy Ooh, Crush that I can put around. Yeah. I would love that. Oh my goodness. Wait, do we have H3 oh. stickers in the Are you doing somewhere? a duck face? <laughs> he does. He does. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cold steel. <laughs> yeah, it's a cold steel. That. But uh, here, a little... I want to do, I want to try some, something here. Um, deep lore. Hit him with some deep lore. I bet he knows it. Mm. Oh, no, I mean, I'm not sure about that. What was the first game that I streamed? Uh, I don't know. I, I, you I'm can guess it. I don't know. Yeah. You can Get guess out. it. Wait, what did you ask him? Just give it a guess. Wait, the first, first game, game that I streamed. Like what I initially started my streaming career off of. Can I guess even though yeah. I don't know? Yeah, it was probably League. League. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. League of Legends. Yeah. I, I was giving you a that freebie, was a bro. Get him out of here. Mm. Yeah. You know. I'm second thinking this. No, 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 please, Pokey. One more. Okay, one more try. One more time. I'm nervous. Um... Okay, this one's maybe easier. What's my uh, ethnicity? Uh, Moroccan. 
Okay, okay, okay. We'll get that one. That was easy. That one. I've been to Morocco. All right, all right. get out of here! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've, I've actually been to Morocco. It's a very great, great place. All right, all right. Oh, really? You tell, have? Tell, tell yeah. Talk on the way out. Talk on the way out. Talk on the way out. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. Bye, love. Thank Ciao. you. Congratulations on the new love bot. Yeah, that old love bot was absolutely destroyed. We were looking for a good opportunity to unveil the new love bot, so... Oh, this is the perfect one. We got it replaced. He can move again. <laughs> Yeah. I can't get over the little hands and feet. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> Someday. He's a real boy. Hopefully you guys can like animate it somehow. Oh my That'd god. Be sick. Just like a puppeteer kind of thing. <laughs> I so, hope I hope it's not weird for me to call this out. But someone donated ten dollars for Iman's Jeep fund, which I didn't know I stop had. Stop it, you guys. <laughs> Guys, we don't, need, Jeep fund? we don't need another Jeep fund. <laughs> Let's get Pokey that Jeep, guys. Let's Do get not. Pokey that Jeep. Bro, yeah, not for me. Give it to a, Olivia. Anyone Sam. else. Anyone else. Well, Sam's the I one don't, with the Jeep fund. I don't need a Jeep fund, okay? Yeah, they're, they're doing a gag on us. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to Sam, please. Get it somehow. Give it so um, let's move on to, obviously, one of the big topics I want to talk about today, which I haven't talked about, Ooh. is that Andrew Tate sent us a cease and desist. <laughs> I think I saw that and on Twitter. Yeah, he's threatening to sue me no! if I don't stop talking about him, which obviously I'm not complying uh, Shut right up. now. So we'll get into Oh, that. I remember you saying it's so funny that everybody tries to talk about like free speech yeah. when it comes to deplatforming him, and then he sends you a cease and desist, Bro, which is a little... It's a little beta. Something's not adding up here. A little bit of a soy boy situation, hmm. if you ask me. Odd. Yes. Yeah, so I have the, the letter he sent us, which I'm going to read. But before we get into stuff oh, like I that... Oh, I haven't even seen the letter myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's good. As you can, can guess. Can I read it? <laughs> oh, I'm going to put it up. We're all going to enjoy oh, it beautiful. together. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know me very well. I mean, who thinks that doing a legal threat against me is the vibe? Oh, yeah, but also against anyone who can afford to speak to a lawyer? Like, yeah. Just doesn't make sense. They have no grounds for a cease and desist. Well, he said he's saying I defamed him by saying he's a human trafficker. But the problem with that is that oh, I know all he about, is a human trafficker. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about defamation claims. So, yeah. do you get those? Oh my God, you don't know. You, you guys mean, don't know. No, what happened? Bruh. Okay, <laughs> how about we talk about this um, after? Because yeah, you know how I mentioned the ninja disappearance thing. Yeah. I feel like that could be interesting for Let's you guys talk to about talk it. about. No, I'm, I, I'm, and then yeah. I'll, br I'll oh, bring that up after. Oh, oh, oh maybe well, we do Are you talking that. about how his wife threatened yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. But okay, did that ever turn to anything? That. No. Yeah. But even then, like, mm -hmm. essentially threatening to sue me for defamation. Yeah. Not even essentially, like, verbatim. That's that what was, they said. That was a yeah. lot, you know. That that was, yes, I didn't know why they had to take it so far. I don't know either. It is what, what was it, is. it? What was it even for? I don't even remember. What was the situation? So on my stream, okay, essentially when Gideon did the whole thing on Twitch, Ninja on his stream pretended Ooh. to speak to his Twitch rep right. and try to get him unbanned, something like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they tried to act like that never happened. So on my stream, I showed a clip <clears> of it <throat> happening. And I was like, I don't know if he actually did text the person or if he just, because he, he grabs his phone and he's like, I sent the text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just played the clip and I was like, this is what happened and this is what they're telling me, which they're, they were essentially trying to gaslight me. Anyway, so they saw that and they were like, anything you say from here on out, we will consider defamation and you will be hearing from our lawyers. And then I just posted <laughs> their DMs. Yeah. So I was like, I don't, I don't like this. No, that was good you did that. That was so stupid yeah. that they did that. I think once you went public, they realized what a stupid thing it was to say. I think what was really bothersome to me is like, even just as someone who's like a Law & Order fan, I think anyone who knows anything about law, or even as a content creator, like, you know defamation has to involve, like, first of all, you saying a lie, mm -hmm. and second of all, you knowing that it's a lie. Exactly. Yes. Me I don't playing your clip that. Exactly. that you deleted to hide evidence on my stream is... It's not me lying. Yeah, no, it's. Yeah, Anyways, you're very. Like, you're very, most people don't know that actually. I feel like people just use it as a way to scare, yeah. and they think it will work. And uh, you know what's sad is that it probably does work on for a lot some of people. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It just makes me sad to have seen someone that I respected at a point, mm. like just use tactics like yeah. that. I really, really did not expect it. 
Yeah, so here's the new Pokemon, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> Looking pretty good. I, of course, am wig Jigglypuff. Is that who That's I am? That's so good. Or is I'm, am I Wigglytuff? Uh, I believe <laughs> yeah. that that is... Wait, maybe? Yes. Is that Clefairy? No, that's Jigglypuff. That is oh, Jigglypuff? That's Jigglypuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little yeah, so, rough. So I know my Pokemon. I you do. My Pokemon. You're pretty good. <laughs> Decent. Yeah, thank you very much. And here's the, enough. the two trainers, the dream team, and all. you guys just tell me who to fight. <laughs> so what, did you ever uh, make peace with Ninja and, and Jessica? No. no. Okay, yeah, so when we were going to talk about it, I was going to give my opinion, but also say, you know, it might be a little biased because I am mm -hmm. evidently not the biggest fan. Are you, so you're... I, you know, I draw the line at threatening to sue me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. can do a lot of shit, but that one, I'm like, ah, maybe we shouldn't be homies. So there's still some negative feelings... Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, but, don't like, blame you know, it, for it that. just is what it is. You just yeah. cut ties. We're not, we're not like close in terms of social circles or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I don't really yeah. hear from him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see you a lot with my girl, my Bella. Yeah, Bella. Bella's such a sweetie. Yeah, yeah she's so she's nice. I love her. <laughs> so you want? So we're talking about the current event, it was which Ninja just had. Mm -hmm. Did we? I don't think we ever showed it on the show. Why don't we pull up the clip of his final moments? No, it just, it was yesterday, was it? Uh, after uh, Leftovers, I think. Yeah, so we, we've we been doing this thing. We've been trying to make good with Ninja because I was pretty mean to him oh, in the past. yeah, the I saw you guys had, he sent you something. He had G Fuel send us a bunch of shit, <laughs> which is funny. And we got a bunch of rare, I still not sure if he knew he was sending it to us because these guys were taking the lead on mm -hmm. simping for him. I think. Oh, no, I did. I did. I talked to him. Yeah, we, we bear. I think love as well, right? Love's a huge ninja fan. Bro. I know, and I, low key, I was like, you know, <laughs> you gotta pick one or the other. Well, well, yeah, I'll drop you know. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I will drop Ninja uh, any day for your stream. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not gonna make you choose. No, you need to. You choose. didn't have to, it's, it's and like I did it anyway. Just like a noted moment, you know. Yep. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'll say this: we have a sponsor coming up, Gamer Sup. You know oh, about them? I do, I do. The I real, so I've they're, met them. They're becoming a sponsor. Let's and so now G yeah. Fuel is known as Lead Fuel. Stop, 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 Okay? Because there's lead in it. <laughs> it's Wait. not Philly. Stop, 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 stop. There was like a Gamer Fuel controversy where uh, yeah. they found lead Years in it. Ago. Mm -hmm. But it was like a negligible okay. amount. Just just to be fair, so they don't sue me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah a standard, standard <laughs> let's, issue let's lead. Let's take it one last bit at a time. But I like to call it Lead Fuel. <laughs> Technically, there's lead in it. Technically. But, we're speaking technicalities. Tech yeah. Maybe let's not take that as our new it's war. campaign. It's war. <laughs> now, now that we're gamers up family, or do you have any You're affiliations? with them or you're Stop. against them? Um, no. I just... Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Listen, when it comes Light to fuel. these, like, drink uh, companies and, like, what do you call them? Powder caffeine? Yeah. What are actually energy, energy, energy powder. powders. <laughs> There's quite a few of them. Especially within the gaming community. Thank you so much. Thank and you, I Olivia. personally thank you so much. I personally have avoided affiliating myself with anyone or any company that affiliates with people that I just think are not good for the internet. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like, uh, I think it says a lot as a brand and company who you affiliate with. Sure. So yeah. I don't want to be in close proximity with those people. Are you talking yeah. about one in specific that you want to... Uh... I might. I think the people <laughs> at home can piece it together, you know? Is this about lead fuel? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, it might be. Pop. You want a Sodi <laughs> Pop? Oh, my God. Like oh, I'm good. Thank you pop? so much. Um, um, yeah, are you talking about... Uh, can I say what's on my mind? <laughs> sure. Or should we just avoid it? Mm, I'll, I'll, ju I'll just sit and nod. <laughs> but you, you can say whatever if you want. If I'm say. reading between the lines... <laughs> You are anti lead fuel because they sponsored Keemstar for a long time, who is basically uh, the reincarnation of. Uh, uh, I will say I'm not. Beelzebub. <laughs> I'm not anti anyone. Again, it's just like if you affiliate with people that maybe that I just there aren't that many people that are content creators that I'm really just big no nos on. Yeah. But if you're homies with them, I, I just don't want to be involved. That's, That's really true, it. man. Shout out. That's the truth. Shout out. I mean, they Put dropped your money his ass. Where your mouth is, you know? right. I'm glad they dropped his ass a long time ago. But you're you're very truth. I mean, I mean, you're very true on that. <laughs> sorry. But um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I uh, love the sound effect. <laughs> yeah, I say lead fuel. By the way, it's a negligible amount of lead. I just want to make that clear. Okay, you know, you're just making a joke. Yeah, they consume me, right? 
but if I'm not clear about that, which I don't want, that's why I want you to make it clear. <laughs> yeah, don't. I'm not defaming lead fuel here. Get, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad amount of lead. I'm just saying there's lead in it. There was. And so maybe I'm saying also there wasn't lead in it before they started working with Keemstar. <laughs> maybe the lead came he in put it. Put the lead in when, it. You know, <clears throat> since the cotton candy flavor came out, you proved it. Allegedly, not <clears throat> just a joke. For legal purposes. You're getting clor clear uh, throat clearing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, someone want me to... Mucus who is that? <laughs> was that AB? <laughs> well, there were multiples. Yeah, that was me. Oh, you want me to stop saying lead fuel? You're getting messages from our attorney? <laughs> no. no. Uh, I, yeah, I'll just clarify on behalf of the table. Um, we don't know anything about whether or not there is Negligible. or isn't Negligible. lead yeah. in g it's a We really don't know. Of lead. It's a thing Ethan okay. might have heard. If you want to know the facts, we recommend you do your own research. Right. No shade to G Fuel, any other company. Wow, well, you're but a professional. The affiliation is Gamer Subs, officially on the H3 podcast. Yeah. Thank you very much. Gamer Subs, thank you. 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 Gamer Subs, thank you.
he happened to get upset and he was like, F it, I'm just going to end it here mm. I- in this manner. So it was real, you think? I think I think he was planning to do this whole Twitter thing, likely. But I think he just took this opportunity of like, oh, I'm so annoyed. And this is my last day anyways. Like, let me just mm-hmm. kind of dramatically end. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> what do you, yeah. I mean, you guys are the yeah. ninja. Uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> enough about it, but that sounds plausible. Yeah, and mm-hmm. to add some more context, he lost his uh, verified badge right after on Twitch. His yeah. partner badge. What does that mean? I think that is sent. Uh, that means he's no longer partnered, which oh. could mean one of two things. So usually, if you renegotiate with Twitch and you stay with them, you will retain that verification badge the whole way through. Mm-hmm. He might be in a phase where he's like, "I'm ending my contract, and I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just not going to decide where I'm going for like a month. So I'm no longer partnered anywhere." But the alternative, which is also kind of likely, is that he's already signed a deal with like YouTube or somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And they know, they found out. Not just they find, they already, like, they have to know beforehand right, right. anyways. And that's why they removed his thing. And I think he's using this, I think he's using this to like build hype for his return. Right. Because this is something that a lot of people have done, including myself. Like prior to renewing your contract, you're like, guys, I'm going to go on break. <clears throat> and then I'll announce where I'm going, what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I so think he actually a- might be moving because if he was going to resign with Twitch, I don't think they would have immediately taken away his sub button until they found out for sure that he was going elsewhere. Don't you think it's a little corny when Twitch does that, though? Even if he is going there, it's like, why you got to be so vindictive? Like, we had a deal with Twitch back, 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 back in the beginning of our podcast where we were live streaming there. And then we decided to start doing it on YouTube. And they, they like, they, like, nuked our channel where they still owed us money. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, you have to reapply to, to be a partner to get first to pay you. I was like, are you fucking crazy? It just seems like <laughs> so fucked up the way that they do that. It's. I think Twitch does a lot of things wrong only because it's a large company with a lot of people, a lot of hands, a lot of blah, blah, blah. Um, but as does YouTube, to be fair. Mm-hmm. YouTube messes up a ton, too, with copyright or whatever it is. <clears throat> um, however... I think in a situation like this, Twitch doesn't want to take away Ninja's sub button. Mm-hmm. Like, they want to continue making money off of him as long as they possibly can. So I highly doubt that they're doing this in a vindictive manner. I think they're doing this because they legally have to because he's, he might have already started a contract Why? with Why? But that's what I'm saying. Or they have that policy. Or if he himself asked him. Or if he himself was like, can you guys take away my sub button so that people don't know where I'm going to go live next? Yeah. I don't think... This is a situation where, like, it is financially in their best interest to keep his butt. That's what I think, too. But they did the same thing to me. It just seems, like, vindictive. I think with exclusivity contracts, like, if someone isn't getting paid extra and they're just a partner on Twitch, Mm -hmm. they give you a lot of leeway. But if they're paying you to stream on their platform, that's when they're more. Which I'm assuming you guys were also exclusive to them beforehand? Yeah. Yeah, so as soon as you end an exclusivity contract, not just a partner contract... That's when they're like, oh, we have to take away those benefits. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. It's really, it's just company stuff. It's finance. They're doing, they're doing everything they can for their financial benefit, understandably so. Mm-hmm. Well, G Fuel needs to, or I mean, let, this is their new flavor, by the way. <laughs> I heard that Keemstar is coming back and they're giving him this one. Lead fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Extra lead. <laughs> Unlike their normal formulation, which is negligible <laughs> amounts of lead. But Keemstars uh, will For definitely... For legal purposes, this is a joke. Yeah, but <laughs> Keemstars will give your brain uh, uh, your brain damage and uh, birth defects. Anyway, uh, moving on. So that's exciting. What do you guys think about that, though? Because you guys are like ninja scholars. You guys like his move to YouTube? Uh, I mean, uh, Sam, <laughs> Sam, Sam, yeah, I'd ask Sam and Ian. Sam and Ian. Yeah, I mean... Uh, those are the ninja scholars. Yeah. You said his move to YouTube? Which I think is pretty much confirmed, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, everything Pokemane said seems spot on. Like, And also he tweeted before his stream, big things are coming. So <laughs> it seems yeah. like it was all set up. I, I, at first I, I kind of thought... Oh. At Go first ahead. I kind of thought that they were going to re-sign with Twitch. But after what you said, Pokey, like, it's not really in their best interest to unsub him. So maybe it doesn't make sense for him to re-sign with Twitch. Mm-hmm. It'll probably go better than his transition to Mixer, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. that dude. That was the best deal anyone ever got, though. That mixer thing. 
All right, well, moving on past that. Uh, Actually, I will say, if it's of interest to anyone, I'm happy to spill the tea on so many streaming things. Like, personally, for me, if you're a really large-scale creator and you have over, like, a million followers on Twitch, I think unless money is your main motive, it's better to remain both on Twitch and on YouTube. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you move, if you move, you're just taking away one massive social platform reach that you have. Well, before, Twitch would not let you do both, right? Until recently. Only if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I'm trying to think if I am able to say this. I think I'm able to speak my opinion, even though I'm with Twitch. I think long term, the best thing for any large creator is to have is to utilize as many platforms as possible. Mm -hmm. So I actually hope that over time, exclusivity contracts kind of die down mm -hmm. and people just have sub buttons and memberships on all platforms everywhere. Were you talking about like multi-streaming to yeah. like both platforms at the yeah. same time? Mm -hmm. Right, because some people prefer Twitch, some people prefer That's YouTube. True. Why should yeah. you have to? That's true. Exactly. Some, a lot of Twitch viewership don't watch YouTube as much, mm -hmm. but YouTube opposite. taps into yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to reach obviously both demographics if you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you allowed to do that now? Can you multi-stream to both platforms or not so yet? So Twitch recently made a change where they allow partners, mm -hmm. not people under exclusivity contracts, but partners are able to stream on TikTok. Oh, that's mm. weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because they noticed that doing that actually brings in a lot more viewership to Twitch. Right, right, I, right. Because right, I've right. seen a lot of people just kind of show their stream on TikTok and they're like, come watch me here. I see. And it actually increases their viewership that's quite a bit. That's mm interesting. -hmm. Yeah, the TikTok lives, there's a lot of transient views just constantly coming and going yeah. when you do those. That's How does the format translate from like the widescreen to the... It. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. They just crop it. Dude, TikTok <laughs> is such a freaking wild place, man. Uh, that's interesting. Um, okay, so if you I'll try saw, to talk more uh, to the mic. <laughs> so let's see. Um, let's move on to the next thing we got here. We got Lovebot. Um, okay, I wanted to show you this. You guys know Rick Owens, right? Designer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put. Don't show this. I'll show her the. I'll show <laughs> her the unedited one, and then I'll put up the edited one. Yeah, there's a di there's a dick. Okay. okay, is that okay? <laughs> it's high fashion. Though. It's not like it's just it's a fashion dick. <laughs> as long as it's fashion. Yeah, it's a fashion dick. I don't think it'd be okay. So where's the dick one though? I'm Dick Tip. I don't believe we have that one in the dock, but I could send you that dick real quick. Give me one sec. Yeah, send me that dick, please. Dick yeah, so he did a fashion collection where the f highlight, the main focus mm -hmm. was the dick. Okay. And uh, I've never seen anything like it. And I'm curious what mm. you think. Uh, Ela, what did you think about this collection as a fashionista? <laughs> I, um, like, sure is. laughed out loud <laughs> when I saw the picture, which I don't normally do. Like, it, was, it was a reaction. Don't show this, okay, uh, Ian? You ready to not show it? Yeah, so here's this, this beautiful piece. What do you think? God, it's so fucking gnarly. Thoughts? I thought that was like... <laughs> that's not a malfunction, that's intentional. No, I didn't think that it was a malfunction. I thought it was like a pouch. <laughs> I have to say, it's kind of, it's kind of a gnarly looking one too. I think, and it, then I was like, I think it might have been very cold in that room. <laughs> and then it, it, it kind of looked just like a, like underwear. Right. And then I was like, oh my god, that's a ball sack. It's and a, then yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, oh my yeah. god. <laughs> it's a penis too. Yeah, so let me show you guys the edited version so you guys know what we're talking about. Oh my This Landa. is the one that's <laughs> safe for YouTube. Uh, of course. Wait. Oh wait. my god, it's called Dick Owens. Good lord. <laughs> Let's be confident. No, that one doesn't have dick in it, but this one here. This is what Pokey saw. With Howie, of course, Grace. <laughs> keeping it clean. No, Ow. but I feel like if I was a viewer at home and I saw that, I would imagine, oh, behind that is just Underwear. a pee pee. Or a but pee -pee. it's not. It is like 90% balls. It's, it's dick and balls. And it's a lot of balls. And it's like perfectly. 
I don't. Y yeah. In there. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't look very well endowed, but his balls are normal size. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of balls. <laughs> to be <laughs> honest, I didn't too. really, I didn't want to comment too much on it because I just don't know enough about penis. Well, <laughs> there's a lot to know. You're right, and that's fair. Right. Yeah. Very I think that as a anatomy. fashion piece, though, it's cool. Just what? I would wear it with pants. Oh, if, no, if, dick out, dude. No. Actually, if oh, that wow. was just it's underwear, that statement. could be cool. Rick, no? like, listen. It's a cool top. I heard Styled Rick normally. say in an interview, I will not sell this to anyone <laughs> unless there's dick out in it. <laughs> wow. Dick out or nothing. Wow. Nothing. Very intentional with his art. Oh, well, you know what? Why don't we tweet it? So if people that want to see, they can go. They can go enjoy this high fashion situation. <laughs> Lots of balls, very little dick. <laughs> uh, which is you, can you tweet which that is out? Which totally fine. Yeah, yeah, you could tweet anything. You could tweet, tweet a fucking out? prolapsed really? anus, which we have. <laughs> or you could post it on TikTok. <laughs> T exactly. So you're, you've Maybe seen the Howie first prolapse. Oh, I've seen. The censored one and then Actually, reply with the real one. Wait, do you guys have it? Because I've never seen it. I've You've never heard seen you it? talk about it ten uh, times. Uh, do I've we never... have it? Oh. Do we have it? Three million people uh. have seen it and not me. Uh, do we have it? Do you have it? It's right here. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. All right, well, hold on. First, first, um, post the, co the Rick Dick. I can't believe I come on the H3 podcast and I'm just seeing genitalia left and right. Oh, well, this, <laughs> yeah. wait, you see dick? Wait till you see this butthole. Okay. You see dick, balls, and butthole. Oh, my. What a treat. And we know how to treat our guests, too. We really do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And water. What more could I need? Love, you got the dick? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Thanks, buddy. All right, so guys, yeah, go put, ahead and check When you the, post it, put not, it with the thing where you have to, yeah. Right. You don't right, have to right, do that. Just make I mean, it sure. it's fashion. <laughs> it's better if people just look at it. They're like, why'd they tweet this picture of this guy? Oh, wait, you, yeah, you can't do it on PC. Uh, there's going to be a no blur, I think. <laughs> oh, God. Come you can't yeah, do it just on PC. Put it up. Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's just balls. I hope you have the whole video, if possible. But Are it's balls, okay if you don't. Let me ask you this. Are yeah. balls more offensive than dick? Or mm, less? I think less. Yeah, yeah so, less. Because, okay, interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like people make a lot of gags about balls is that a weird sentence to say <laughs> a lot of gags. Um, you know like teabagging in games or i don't know people joke about that part okay i'll tell you more than the. well let, let me ask let me rephrase this if you were at a beach and a dude was walking around with a slit and his balls were out mm -hmm. just his balls yeah dick concealed or, I would assume he's just trying to get some vitamin D in that mm -hmm. area. As I've heard, is just so helpful for men's health, right? <laughs> That's interesting. Right. Or, or a guy who just had his I dick out. I think like the balls, like someone just said it. Balls are like funny. I think that's what I read a comment and I I, I felt balls that are pretty gnarly. They're they kind of like it would be more yeah. funny. I feel than like I'm assaulted. Right. right? Okay. If okay. I see a ball, <laughs> you know. Okay. So there you have it. This is Chad's good information. Do we pull this? <laughs> I think, that, yeah, we can do a poll, but I think you guys are kind of spot on. I think you guys know better than me about Actually, what's scary. Me, the other day I was on a walk, on a hot girl walk. I don't know if you guys have heard of those, but I was walking outside um, in like a, a West Hollywood-ish, in like a well-known area. I won't mm -hmm, say exactly mm -hmm, where, but mm -hmm. anyways... I walked by, and there's this very, very fancy white car. Don't know what it's called. And a guy who had stepped out and was just pissing on the pole beside his fancy-ass car with two girls in the car. Oh, I was like, is that normal? Like, he looked, uh, he was for sure rich. He's you know? probably drunk. People just get up and piss on the side of streets? I no. don't think so. I don't think that's normal. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't think Wait. even I think even the Weird. homeless have more dignity than right? that. No, for real. Yeah. I was like, you're clearly not homeless, bro. You're driving like a Lambo and so you're pissing you on balls? the street. Yes. Oh, you saw it? It bothered oh. me the most because like he could see that I was walking towards him. Oh. And I had to stop and just go on the other side of the wow. street. Because he wouldn't even stop. He was he was, you know, just doing this, looking back at me like, yeah, I'm pissing. That's <laughs> gross. Okay, sir. What a freak. Wait, what is this pull? <laughs> That's a bad I'm poll. voting shaft. What? <laughs> okay, so basically it's closer than I thought. What's Why more, are we talking about? It's kind of a bad poll. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> it is, actually, this time. Dan wrote, um, what's more insulting to your eyes, balls or shaft? Why is shaft specifically? I'm talking about the whole penis, including the head. Mm, true. Are we just looking at the shaft? I mean, well, maybe they're looking for a word that works. I just, 
was using Shaft to kind of sum up, you know, the whole thing. But the piece. Just the to shaft. distinguish it. I don't so know. The shaft and head. Oh, no. All right. What is the yeah. shaft? What are now the I'm <laughs> Let's go again. I mean, I thought it did, but... just the rod. Human dev class, let's go. What's the question? What's the question, Ethan? You've got, you've got the shaft. Okay. And on top, you've got uh, the mushroom. Gotcha. So it is a bad pull. Anatomy it's a bad pull. Because you're, you're talking about not the whole well, thing. Well, how, how do you sum up penis? But okay, well, well, without the first balls. penis. <laughs> I guess. Penis. But well, it seems that most are, most people are offended yeah, I mean, by. I, when you say penis, you usually think of it as a unit with the balls. That's why I was trying to <laughs> yeah. distinguish. No, but we've, yeah. we've, we've, okay. we we said balls separately. <laughs> Understandable. We said balls. Uh... Okay, so is the the question? Do, was there an issue with the question? Oh, wait, I have an interesting. A comment from Olivia. <laughs> the state of the dick matters more. I think so. So you're saying an erection would be oh, scary. That's way of more. Of course. Like, the ooh, scariest. That's like that's red not, alert. Yeah, call the but, police. But I think oh, I would. Like, <laughs> yeah. The sight of balls, I feel like, maybe is a little more than like a, a not excited. Really? Piece, oh. you know? <laughs> Does that make sense? Really? I don't know, personal preference, I guess. But. <laughs> well, but just in this situation, you're walking down the street, the dude has a slit in his pants, and his balls are out. Everything I, I else think, concealed. I think Penis. also you have to consider, if someone's balls are out, it could be an accident. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't. Th in this case, it's not. But Slit, as an observer, you have no way to know. Whereas There's, if they're Willy no Wonka's out, it's for sure intentional. Willy this Wonka. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of words, you know? <laughs> there, is, there is certain situations where guys, if they were like really high athletic shorts, the balls, yes. the balls can mm -hmm. actually pop My out, popular male streamer friend was telling me that occurred to him not too long ago. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, oh, it could be an accident. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's what I'd assume if I ever unfortunately came across such a sight. Well, there it is, gentlemen. Do not walk around with your erect uh, penis out. That is a no-go. <laughs> right here, right now, guys. Put that so put true. Put those away. Woo, baby, woo. Breaking new ground here. Yeah, podcast. if you didn't know that already. This is educational God podcast. <laughs> okay, wow. so are you ready to see the prolapse? <laughs> okay, so camera on uh, Pokey. You ready for this? Oh, it was. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay, so this is a big React moment. Stream. You haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm pulling it up now. Howie Mandel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we, need, wait, we need audio, dude. Okay. We need audio, audio, audio. Uh, Over this happened. Uh, Does somebody uh, know? Is this COVID related? And if, and if it, it is. is what do we what do, do about it? What do we do about it? <laughs> Ow. When my friend Neil, Neil bent, bent over, this happened. happened. Does somebody know, is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? Ow. When my friend Neil bent over. That man, Howie Mandel, posted a severely prolapsed anus to TikTok. Thoughts? I'm going to be honest. When I heard you talk about a prolapsed anus, you know, I was like, Oh, like it's a little open or something. Like a his butthole. guts are pouring out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of between his, his. It looks like Baron. If anyone's played League. Oh, pull, <laughs> pull up a picture of Baron. Yeah, let me pull that up. Yeah, no, his he's literally his intestines, his large intestines, is prolapsed out of his asshole. I didn't know that was humanly possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a question yeah. I ask people: Is this a prolapse of of uh? Intentional prolapse or accidental prolapse? If that's accidental, that is so concerning. And if it's intentional, <laughs> it's still very concerning. <laughs> yeah. Why is the person wearing something very playful and we have a picture of it? That's what makes me think that no, it's, no, it's actually, intentional. Wait, we need to look into this a little bit further. There's Do no we? way. I have something. <laughs> when my friend out. Neil bent. <laughs> I have something. Oh. When my friend Listen, Neil bent over, this some, happened. Why is there this, a hole yes. around the butthole? Yeah. So I think they were doing some kind of role playing where they like, because I don't think you can actually prolapse this bad. He's wearing no, like not gym. just that, but no way yeah. it would like pop out of your shorts, right? Like they must they have cut, cut that hole intentionally. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, they cut the hole out. I think this is a prolapse of pleasure. 
and 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 God bless them. You know, there's a lot you can do with that thing. God bless them, but don't Rob post it on TikTok. Think of the well, kids. that's how, I, and I would like to know more. I'm trying to get a hold of Howie. He won't talk to me. I want to know how he became in possession of this uh, prolapse. You, you know, whenever you you put this on the screen. You know that feeling you get where you've got you're driving and you want to just jerk the wheel. Like sometimes, <laughs> like what would happen? Don't it's fucking like right do into the it, wall. Yeah. There's a button right Boom. next that would you, just put it on the screen. I, I, I also end your career to... right now. You mean you mean like when you want to when you like oh I could just uh, have a full head-on collision with the car on the other side of the yeah, road. Yeah, right like now. I yeah. get this. T the button is yeah. right there that would just put it on the screen. Yeah, let's the not let's button. not even joke. I really I need to ask. <laughs> yeah. What kind of homies do you have to just be sending you their prolapsed anus? The best kinds. <laughs> the closest of homies only. They're for sure kissing good night. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, okay, so that's, so there you have it. I mean, it is, it's as horrific as you imagined or more? Way more. Yeah. <laughs> Way, about ten times yeah. worse than I thought. Oh, it's just so great. Maybe I'm, I'm going to text Howie right now and I'm going to say, Listen, just tell me where you got the photo from, and I'll stop bothering you. He told you from his friend. His friend, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> how would just tell me how you got the fo He must hate my guts, how I always talk about it. Howie, just tell me how you got the photo. That's it. I feel like now I see it in everything, too. Like, if I see a shape. <laughs> Please, yeah. show them, Baron. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, there's another one. Huh? That is so crazy, I can't show it. Ooh! And I what? sent it to Howie. That's how I got uh, just reminded myself. What do you mean another one? Wait, hold on. Pull this up. I got to show you this, Pokey. This is insane. <laughs> and then, Cam, maybe you can make an edit of Wait, it. Wait, this is worse? Dude, it's not worse, but it's as bad. What? Pull that up. Where did this come from? Wait, what I saw it? it on Reddit, and I sent it to Howie. And he Wait, said, "Now we're just gonna look." Is it the car one? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I've managed to avoid seeing. Is this so what is oh, the show yeah. turning oh, into? Yeah, Wait, crazy. he commented on it. Okay, so you're gonna love this. He said, "He said best one yet. You post it." <laughs> and then, and then he said about her, "She should be on America's Got Talent. That talent looks." Uh, Wait, don't. No, it's, he's making jokes. He's, like, he's got more talent than problem. Pull it up. I sent it in the chat. It's, it's, it's in the Discord. It's not a private conversation. It's all fun and games. Oh my god. Okay, Ian, my get off, 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 off. <laughs> all right, you off? No head on collisions, please. Audible. You're stressing me out. Man. Audible ewes <sighs> from the cast and crew. I, I'm, this one is oh worse. My. I'm not looking at this. This one's worse, you think? This one, yes. honestly. Oh, yeah. Is, I've never seen this one. No, this I like this so one bad. better. Okay, oh, you ready for this, Pokey? You guys worry me. Ela, I'm not gonna Ela, look. No, no, what are you talking about? You have to look. You have to gaze the into the abyss. Me. Ela, you have to gaze into the abyss. Um, Sam sent it in the chat and I read it at the nail salon, read it, I read the message, <laughs> watched the crazy video at the nail salon, and it was a good experience if I'll be honest, like with you. Okay. I thought it was hilarious. How, That's a big vouch. How we like this. I will say. <sighs> Cam, can you make an edited version we can show the people at I'm home? I'm on it right now. Thank you, Cam. All right, Eli, you gotta look. You gotta do this for me. I mean, I'll try. You, don't look away, okay? You have to gaze into the beast. You have they to know. They want you to tweet it. The bees? What are you saying? Gaze the eye of the bees? Eye of the eyes of yeah, the Sauron. beast himself. I'm Sauron, man. He looks, you have to know experience. what is, is on it's this really planet, Eli. Yeah, we'll tweet it. We'll tweet it as well. The uncensored. Okay, Eli and, and Pokey, this is for you guys. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. Does somebody know, is this COVID related? No. And if it is, yes. what do we do Stop about it? it? No, I can't look anymore. This really <laughs> it's traumatizing me. What the me. fuck? What the fuck? But like on the side of the freeway. So this, was what? that a man or a woman? It was a woman. woman. Yeah, it was a woman. That okay. means that they couldn't control it. They had to stop and just do it in the freeway. No, she's putting on a show, I think. No, yeah, I think it's so. It's a show? I what? Think so. Wait, what is For who? For everyone else on the freeway. No, do we, do we you guys think the link? that that yes. was that I'll just was tweet not the my link choice? To the... No, tweet the video. I think well, that was no. a willful, the video. A willful <laughs> you rhythm. You trying to get <laughs> all your followers <laughs> to unfollow you? I'm gonna I'm gonna reply with the video oh to the other God. tweet. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, the people gotta see this mm. one. Um, it's up right now. No. Both of them are up. Uh, okay, for your it's up on the Twitter as a reply it's to the original. Can. Okay, I'm gonna watch it again, you guys. Uh, Ian, take it off. I just want to analyze this, uh, if I could, Nothing. please. I'll describe it as good I can for the people at home. So, 
when my friend. It's a woman bent over. They're all stuck in traffic. It's it's. What <laughs> <does that sound? laughs> Are you serious, David? Are you gonna puke from a little prolapse? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Nice no, that shit looked like Majin Buu. That was disgusting. Oh. You know when he regenerates? That's what it looked like. Oh my god. No, Isn't that what you said I look like? No, no, no. Everything looked no, like no, the no, same no. TBZ character? <laughs> oh, like if I, I can audibly describe it in any way, just imagine someone bending over, and you see their butthole, but then you see their guts, like, coming out. Out mm -hmm. of it, right, and back yeah. in the sense of yeah. And breathing. Yeah, it's sort of that like... does not. But it's the situation that makes it more bizarre. She's on the side of traffic of a heavily trafficked road. Wait, wait, <laughs> don't I, show close. We can show this. Well, that, it's it. yeah, for some reason, the the guts just low key look like barren. What can I say? Yeah, because they're I, like red and purple. Oh, is that I'm the one you're talking I'm scared to bring about? it up. Yeah, yeah. I don't That's want to press the wrong button here. Okay, wait. Let me thank take you so much for that edit. God, God bless you. Um. Ow. Can you to show an image where you can see all the traffic? Because that one's close up. I want people to understand. Yes, yeah, so she's bent over during heavily traffic. Someone in a truck is filming her as he drives by her. And she's flexing her asshole. But no, like, she's flexing her guts coming out of her. She's pushing like her whole yeah. intestines out of her asshole and then oh sucking God. it back in. Terrific. It sounds like a bad, bad anime, you know? <laughs> Some oh my. Some people look for this kind Someone of Someone in the comments said her hazards were on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch it one more time. If you guys don't want to see it, it's fine, but I'm gonna watch it by myself here. Let me know when it's done. Every, I, it seems like everybody Neil agrees it's over, way worse. It's so Does somebody bad. know, is this COVID related? And if it is, what? what do we do about it? Oh my God, it looks like a sea anemone. Her asshole, doesn't it? When it's fully out. Did you guys originally see this? Posted onto the subreddit, like on on our subreddit. No, I saw it on a subreddit called Crazy Fucking Videos, Got and it. what was so great is that it already had the Howie meme on it. <laughs> here, here, here's the setting, just so you guys can tell. Uh, she's <laughs> bent over. Here, you, it's all safe oh, for you, folks. Thank yeah. you. But she's so. Who's the show for? For herself, for her own pleasure? Is somebody? What's happening? No, it's it's Gorilla Theater. You think yeah. somebody? An unwilling, it's an unwilling <laughs> audience. <laughs> Gorilla you guys theater. really think that? Well, I, she's literally like doing. She's like, there's choreography to it. Oh, maybe you know? they were filming this. Ooh. Somebody driving by, or oh, maybe oh, there's maybe someone else there. They with wanted her? to go viral. Like m maybe they're filming it for. Uh, um, how do I say this? Inappropriate <laughs> audiences. <laughs> they're do they're doing a porn. Adult yeah, audiences. Oh, so because I'm sure someone's into not just the. The Baron coming out, but also like the, uh, is it like exhibitionist stuff? Is that what it's called? Bro, this is. <laughs> so maybe that combination, you know? Right. Yeah. And she, she was like, scholarly. hey, yo, I'm about to make a buck fifty right now. <laughs> High brow art. You know? So what happens that would cause this? Like, I'm just wondering, uh, this could not be like uncontrolled. You guys all no, no, think she's... that she controls I think her when I think with a thing. lot of practice, I know what you're saying. With a lot this of practice. This is not an accident. No, it's not an accident. Huh. That's a skill. That's a woman with skill and experience. I feel like um the extent <laughs> of it, like if <laughs> if if a prolapse were to occur on accident, it wouldn't be to this extent. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the in and the out? Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, bro. Right out my yeah, so there you go. That one's for you. I sent that to Howie. He loved it, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Did he? Wow. Yeah, he loved that's it. Funny. Thought it was great. He was like, hey, yo, that's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, people of culture is what we call those people when you, oh, what, you, what you were trying to say, that maybe it's for... Men of yeah. culture. Men of culture. Yeah, yeah, men of culture. Men of culture. Of a very specific culture. I like people, because maybe it's women, oh, too. Oh, true. People of a certain interest group overlapping <laughs> with another interest group. <laughs> so there that is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we did that. The intersection <laughs> of kinks. Hey, let me ask you this. Since we're on the topic of gross shit, did oh you see, did you see Will uh, uh, Steve will do it about how he jerks off his dog? Oh my god! I saw you talking about it, and I was like, "Who is this? Why is he talking yeah. about doing things to his dog and then doing things to his friend's daughter?" I was so confused. I oh, kind of yeah. turned my brain off, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. So you've seen it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. I saw you talk about it. Yeah. But do you want to give me context? You. I'll just open it. Sure. It's great. 
Here so many years. Honestly, I miss my ex-girlfriend's dog. I'm just hitting you with all the, with all the best. I miss my ex-girlfriend's dog. Yeah, not like, not like Steve does. Dogs. Really yeah, do. I, I miss. I swear, I really miss. That's him. dude. That's the thing. Oh, dude, when we broke up, we broke up for eight months. Really, how how I started talking to her, I started messaging Donald on Instagram. <laughs> like, not I again. really miss her dogs. Man. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, guys. dogs are dope. Just, I gotta Cena, do it. Um, our it's dog is like, uh -huh. is he's recently he's been like, you come home and there's just come everywhere. What yeah. are you talking about? Like, come over the couches. And like, shit. you see it? You see the come? Like, yeah, usually you see come stains and his dick is like. Not all big part. and throbbing so like it sucks but like this is like kind of crazy i'm saying this but one i'm the cool dad now okay and i'm mm -hmm. the favorite you're the favorite you're the cool and dad. two you can control where the cum goes what are you talking about Gross. so i get ivs all the time yeah, yeah i know you know they wear gloves yes so lately i've been just like bro so you just go you put on the glove and he said, Donald, he's going on his stomach, or like on his stomach right here. Mm -hmm. Or like you go cow style. Cow style. Cow, cow style is better. What are you better for about catching. Right now? Good and Lord. then you go and you usually just play like, uh, like, uh, like I like cartoons, like Disney, like family friendly and shit. Uh, and he's, I've been, uh, I've been just like jerking off Donnie. Jerking your dog off. I swear. <laughs> That's. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So. Uh... You're telling me right now that you've been jerking your dog off, and that's so why he you're doesn't. Cool dad. Uh, no, <laughs> I it might sound crazy, but it's strictly business. You guys don't love this much to me. I um, think it's the funniest okay. shit. I, I did listen to you. I, I just missed, I guess, the first part. Yeah, I is did this for health purposes then? He does it because he, he wants to be a homie. He wants to be a good homie to his dog. No, 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 no. He says no, his dog no, doesn't no, have no. hands, so I gotta beat him off. Okay, for starters, why is your cool dad. dog cool dad? Um, you know, doing things everywhere. I feel yeah. like that's an, an abnormal behavior, which leads me to think maybe this is an issue his dog has, and then his vet told him to. But if your no, vet didn't no, tell no, you no. to. Don't do it. No, 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 no. This was not veterinarian instruction. Are you sure? Bro, listen to this. Show. Yeah, yeah. He it's just where, he, kind of, he does not love of the game. He just says he like, can you imagine if you couldn't do it to yourself? So he's like, he thinks he's helping the dog. Bro, is this he is, crazy? This yeah. is all love of the game, guys. Myself, and it's more of just a, it's more of a, um, a little workout. But the thing is, like, dude. I'm the cool dad, cause imagine if you couldn't jerk off and like it's like what the fuck do I do? He comes by like fucking a pillow, you know? That's his normal. That's his normal move, dude. Yeah. But imagine, He's a imagine boy, by you the way, trying to come by there. like fucking a pillow. Like it's probably like hard. That's yeah. not. It's probably not the best. <laughs> but then imagine you. Had I don't have a dog, but that's not normal, right? Off. Yeah. Fuck no, dude. No. Well, it's disturbing. <laughs> Joe Budden says he fingers his female dog, and I'm sorry, but wait, yeah, Joe well, Budden. You guys that. need to stop talking about your pets online, okay? In <laughs> any, I can't believe people have to say this. In any sexual capacity whatsoever, do not talk about your pets. Look, look. I thought we learned from. Very brave, very brave of you. Like Dave Austin. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> Sometimes when Shredder is sitting next to me and it's late at night. <laughs> I like to, uh, mm -mm. you know. We're not girl, even don't do joke it. About don't that. do it. No. Girl, don't do it. Lady in Wait, the Wait, you know what this reminds on. me of? Nope. Which I hate that I'm saying this. Has any? Does anyone know such deep internet lore that there used to be this girl who had an entire YouTube channel? Wait, is this so Oh, the dedicated dog yeah 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 that's the she thing. made a video about like the top eight reasons that you should be with your dog instead of a human partner oh yeah was God. there any compelling reasons on that <laughs> couldn't tell you <laughs> couldn't tell you <laughs> probably all the compelling reasons it just blew my mind one that someone made this and two that it was a video that was allowed to flourish upon right. a platform you know what number one was loyalty <laughs> If you ain't got loyalty, what do you got? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Probably good D, too. Bro, crazy. Yeah, here's Joe Budden saying fingers his fucking dog. I and thought... I, this is so funny. I'm so me. sorry. I thought you said Joe Biden. <laughs> no, not Joe Biden. <laughs> I fingered my dog, man. Got that hairy leg, and I put my finger right on her <laughs> vagina. Oh my God. God. You, you said, said Joe that, Budden. Man. Yeah, hairy leg. Okay. She's in here. We were on the same page. We were on the same page. Okay. No Joe Budden. Come on. Man, my man. dog's got, when she's in heat, I just slip a finger right in there, man. 
No, no, I, it's probably insane. best I don't. Jail. Jail time for you, sir. Here's Joe Budden. Okay. My guy, right? I'm sorry. It's baby. a girl. I saw me, Joe, please, We're just using slurs. Don't worry about it. Sorry. Why do I always want to make the dog feel good by playing with their fucking privates? Stop. They like that. They fucking protect their animals. Stop, stop, stop oh. raping your dog. That's how I know that he's not a real animal uh, lover. Because I don't Any, play with my pets. Anybody with a pet. You come on, you did a little something down there, man. No, <laughs> no, I've never done. Oh. Well, you've never. By the way, Steve will do it's like, yup, preach, brother. <laughs> Bro, it's not even his dog. You know what I find really, really funny? Cool dad. Mm -hmm. People just start talking so much on the internet they don't even realize when they're saying fucked up shit. Yeah, because they don't even know that it's fucked up, and it really it gives you such insight into them as a human being. Wow. It's fantastic. There's this whole zoophile thing that's going on, and I it love it. Is, could that not be considered some form of like sexual abuse to an animal? We debated that. We I were like, like, is it this should illegal? Be. <laughs> what, he, what Steve will do it is doing to his dog. Is this illegal or not? I can't decide. I, I don't know. We need to. Dude, we got. I can we call PMP? Can we get PMP on the line? By the way, do you guys need bathroom right breaks? I kind of really need to. Yeah, we got Beautiful. To go the show. Oh, nice. So, no, I'd be yeah, drinking that I'll, I'll, I'll hold it up. Yo, can we seriously get PMP on the line? I want to know. We can try. He's uh, like, the first rule of go. fingering your dog is not to ever admit it. God damn it. Finger your dog and run. Um, how did we always talk to him? Um, I'm trying to remember who has the Oh, contact. shit. I asked Howie, just tell me how you got the photo. And he said, <laughs> I just used a mirror. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy. <laughs> what do we do about I can't. Him? I can't with Howie. He's the greatest. <sighs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking legend, dude. I can't. Howie Mandel, ladies and gentlemen. A real one. I told you he's funny. He's the realest one. I told you. Yeah, when he's not, like, the thing is, he just plays it so clean when he's, he's on become, camera. He's become very family friendly, but uh, under under the veneer of America's Got Talent, there's yeah. a uh, very dirty comic. The By the way, the man won't shake a hand, but he'll show you an asshole. We did some snooping. If you go to Howie Mandel, he follows this guy named Neil. So this may be the prolapse. Oh, and no. it's the only <laughs> spelling of Neil so that Neil, he follows. So that Neil Sean is the guitarist for Journey, the band Journey. <laughs> oh, I, oh, he took me on a journey, all right. <laughs> a journey to the eye of the beast. Oh, wait, wait. Could that be what the wheel in the sky means? The prolapse. Oh, my Lord. There's oh. a with a prolapse in the sky. <laughs> well, that's, that's not, yeah. But so Neil, we've seen your anus, bro. <laughs> Don't and stop believing, Neil. Get well soon. You can get over COVID, dude. <laughs> is this COVID related, Howie? Oh, Neil must have had COVID at the same time. So is is was that COVID related? We have to figure it out. Any way you want it, Neil. <laughs> That's the way. You we need to get in touch. We'll get in touch. That's yeah. the way you need it, <laughs> Neil. By the way, someone reaching out to PNP. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out where we're in contact with him. and I can out. text him on the... Um, Wasn't it TikTok DMs? Was it just TikTok, or did we get... Let me uh, message him on TikTok, because this is actually important. Let's go. I'm going to message him and say, we have an important and urgent legal question for you. Um, P and P, where are you, my boy? P and P. Here he is. So uh, how he responded to Ethan... He did? Yeah. You want to share it? Just now? He said, I said, well, how'd you get the picture? And he said, I took it in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. He's Nobody a has funny a guy. Of, okay, so I said, we have an urgent... Yeah, I'm just searching through my email. I guess I, I, well, I didn't set it up through email. Olivia, did you reach out to him, perhaps? No, I was at you school when you guys had him Yeah. Month. Oh, you missed that. Oh, I did. Yeah. Whole thing. Mmm. Pokey brought these. Stroop waffles. Oh, wait, oh, those are waffles? delicious. You guys, mm -hmm. yeah. Hit this. Okay. They hit hard. So good. Hook it up, Dan. It's actually one, one of my favorite uh, Take the whole treats. Dan's just grabbing one for himself. Can I have one? No. Oh, oh Cam, Cam, shut Cam. up! <laughs> Get out! Get you back in your cell, Cam! You asked for too damn much. Mmm. 
What the fuck? Truth I waffle. Cry, bro. I tried, You're falling. I was trying to hold it up. No, just feed me. I, I don't mean, need. Holy no, shit. Your little hands are so cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Wow. They have those in Amsterdam a lot. Or Netherlands. Oh. You guys want to look at Ela's super cute Instagram photo? Mm. I do. Yeah. I love that pose. <laughs> so you got a notification on your iPhone. Or, I don't know what it was. I was looking at, like, Google Photos, I think. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it does this, like, highlights that they put together. So it said great. from seven years ago, so I was kind of curious. I usually never click on it, but it was, like, this week, seven years ago. Yeah, so. apparently we moved to New York <laughs> seven years That's ago. So cute. <laughs> Here I am getting off the airplane in New York. And it was also right after moving from Israel to America in general. Wow. I think we were just maybe a couple months in LA and then we decided to go to New York. So this was like all of our belongings. We had to take everything with us. I, my most wow. precious and expensive belonging was my computer, <laughs> which I had to put in a fucking box and <laughs> store on the airplane. So then when I got it out, it was totally destroyed. <laughs> really? Was, it, it was oh. like the motherboard was torn out. The yeah. Car, the, the that graphic is depressing. Car. But it worked. It I still it worked. Together, so oh, that was wow. a miracle. Yeah. Because I could not afford Same. to buy a new one. So there was that. This is us leaving or arriving? This is us arriving in New York, I think. Right. I think. And you guys were there for only a year, right? Yeah. One year. Just one wow. year. This is the apartment, how we got it. Like... This is how we got it. I think people left some trash in there. We had to empty. <laughs> it was three stories, no no elevator. We we bought like chairs. We had to carry it up ourselves. Everything was <laughs> such. Sounds uh, like New York. A thing, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> this was our first setup. Oh yeah, there's a lot of good videos shot right yeah. here. Yeah, I recognize the fireplace. Me too. For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. this was a very creative <laughs> space for us. We did a yeah. lot of good stuff there. And this is me on the Aww. airplane. Oh, yeah, so there it is. Uh, Ela Klein, a cute post by uh, Ela Klein. There. Beautiful. Speaking of uh, cute posts. And then, honestly, wait, that's wait, fucking... I, that's dope. Amazing. Just kidding. We don't no, I it. wanted to ask, what are the comments on that video like? Oh. Nobody's talking about it. It's so, so weird. confusing. Scroll. I want to see. I'm the I, only yeah. person on the internet talking about this. It just, just came out. By the way, it gets I even worse. You said that. He, ta he talks about how he scoops the cum out and shit, and like he does it because he goes, Yo, imagine. Let me just finish That's it. That's the part that I, I had to leave a comment. I was like, No, I couldn't hear it's that. It's just 30 more seconds. I'll play it for you, and then I'm going to scroll down. You, bro. But I think, like, there's plenty of reasons I got to control where the cum goes. Okay. And I feel like he likes me better than, uh, he likes me way better than Selena now. I'm, you... the, I'm the cool dad, dude. I'll be honest, I didn't see this conversation going that way, but I, I kind of, like, it's crazy. I kind of respect it. What do you I respect? Mean, dude, if you couldn't jerk off. I, I'm, I'm trying to put myself in that position. And it's like, don't. Donnie can't go to the rub and tug. No, yeah, he can't do There's it. no dog hookers. Hey, but, Damn, But also dogs, like, like, um, they can't, like, give kids consent per se mm -hmm. it's just weird dude it ain't right I understand bro they're an animal but like unless absolutely necessary like you i feel like you just we don't as humans know what's going on in their head like sure they can be in heat they can but whatever that yeah. doesn't mean they want you as their owner mm -mm. to do that oh but there he's know. the cool dad now so you know. think he smells his fingers after he finished or no ah. all right okay too Go far Donnie? I was just curious because he's in there pretty deep. No, that's weird. Bro. Maybe just a little taste. Mm, don't. Uh. <laughs> well, he's Steve finger. will do it. The man's nuts. <laughs> 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 just, uh, ending the whole show, huh? <laughs> that bad? Okay. I Sorry, do. guys. I love that his name is Steve. Will do it. Yeah, Zach had and a great one. He says yeah. Steve will jerk it. Yeah. Steve will yank, we'll yank it. Yank, yank it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. So Insane. I'll continue. I'll continue. Like, bro, you just got your mom and dad. Mom's not cool. He don't have a girl. He don't have girl dogs to fuck. No girls, but Frenchies can't fuck. Wait, what? Wait, really? what are these Fact guys known me for? Here. They're fucking shitbag losers. They're known for uh, crypto gambling, stake, and also spread, like, not caring about COVID, basically. Nar. Yeah, they're the worst. They're and the just worst. being like I used assholes. To be yeah, and just strangers. being dicks. They're the worst. I used to be such a Drake fangirl. Mm. Drake is fucking sold out Ever since Drake, uh-uh. So you have like a problem with that? showing your true colors. I hate Drake. Okay. As a Canadian, we're disowning you. Mm. Right. This is interesting. We'll keep the music, though. Well, we're disowning <laughs> <Yep>. you. 
<laughs> well, this is interesting because obviously you're on Twitch, and I have a big problem about the steak thing. I talk I about all the time. I have a bigger problem. Okay, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me your thoughts about Why steak. Do you wanna, when you did, uh, it was like that group call or whatever, I was like, get me in, bro. Because I oh, wow. am so... Listen, I wish I could just speak to someone who does like crypto gambling and explain to them like, one, we could are you dumb? That. If no, then you must be able to understand that whatever money this company is giving you, it's because they are profiting more yes. from whatever marketing and advertisement that you are doing. And their profits are your viewers' losses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Therefore, your profits are your viewers' losses. Well, it's yes. even more direct than that because a lot of these and guys had referral be... codes they were getting. Not picked. to mention that it could be addicting <laughs> gambling. Exactly. And it can ruin lives, right? <laughs> but even just understanding the business marketing behind it, how can you feel good about taking money from people like that? It might be that like guys like XQC and Trainwreck are actually just addicts. And so they're not really thinking straight about it. Aiden Ross is a piece of shit. I don't think that is hard to explain. Um, yeah, I considered that angle too. But <laughs> and I, I think I gave them a bit of leeway for a while because I was like, oh, like they must be addicted as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if that's the case, I think they kind of have a responsibility as people who are in such mm -hmm. positions of privilege, mm. power, and influence seek treatment. If you are addicted, mm. don't use that as a reason to just to keep spread it around. Yeah. Well, Love says that XQC says that he recently lost four million off of the stream. He said. Yeah, that was what? a while ago, but he did say that he's gambling off. You know, I mean, when they say stuff like that, I think in their minds, it's you know they're trying to say, like, "Guys, look, I'm, I'm a real one. I'm losing a lot. Yeah. Hear me out, right? I'm a real one." What I hear is. Bitch, you have four million to throw away like that? Mm -hmm. You must be making eight mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, right. you're right. No, you're that's right. true. Yeah. Like has to. Blows my mind. It really, it really pisses me off. All in all, though, I just hope Twitch takes action because yeah. I I cannot trust individual content creators too. That's what I wonder, like for you being on this platform. Mm -hmm. It's gotta suck that this is what's the biggest thing right now, right? Like slot like, machines, yeah. And yep. Drake, like the big star, is coming over, and then this is what they're all doing. Luckily, in terms of traction, I feel like the the gambling section of Twitch is kind of like a section to the side. That's if good. I saw it like plastered everywhere and I heard everybody talking mm -hmm. about it and actively watching, I would be so mad. Mm -hmm. I'm still mad, but at least it's not like popular on Twitch. It's just like a part of Twitch that I wish wasn't, mm -hmm. to be frank. I think it's good you speak out about it because a lot of the people... Wait, somebody said my Twitter's been hacked? Hold on. No, no they're asking uh, if <laughs> because we're posting pod yeah, Twitter's been hacked. Because you're posting prolapse? <laughs> they probably oh. just... No, oh. bro, that's, that's, that, that's what we do around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's intentional, I'm just afraid. Just say yes, it was hacked. Sorry. <laughs> Delete the <laughs> yes. So there's balls, questions. and then under it is the uh, new prolapse. <laughs> Here's mm -hmm. between... Like, wait, questions. let me read some of the comments under the new prolapse. The freeway <laughs> prolapse. Uh, I, need my, I need to mind my business sometimes. I click the show. I can't follow simple orders. Is this COVID related? <laughs> She's giving them a show. Respectfully, it's time to stomp. Ow. Ow. I've had enough internet for the day. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. I think it's good you oh. speak out about the gambling stuff because the people who are doing gambling are actually beloved and very influential people like XQC is, prob is probably the biggest streamer on the platform. So I actually think he's kind of the exception to the rule. I think most other people that do gambling. And Trainwreck is big also. Trainwreck's? His viewership numbers are big, but I think because he does so much gambling, he's really, really in like one category right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say he's like similar to XQC per se. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, but it's just, it's, it strikes me as kind also, of interesting actually, that XQC gets away with it. Mm, mm, yeah. You think there's a double standard there? Mm, no, I think he's just really, really popular. And sometimes when you have so so much not just popularity but he streams a lot mm. and he does make a lot of really good content and he has a really really close connection with his viewership his massive viewership mm -hmm. so i think because of that a lot of people have a lot of love for him and this thing like it kind of taints his name per se but because there's still so much else mm. it can't like ruin it because he's also known for so many other like good things mm -hmm. love you're, you're a fan how much of his content is gambling versus gaming not a crazy uh, amount 
Yeah, not a crazy amount. I guess he oh. does. Maybe a couple a week, two, maybe? Oh, so Yeah, but also understand, he does like 12 plus hour yeah. streams mm -hmm. regularly. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. why. If he only got on stream and only did gambling, there would be a, a lot more to say. I mm. see. Yeah. He, he yeah, streamed 277 hours uh, this month. Bro, Whoa. what? How many hours are there yeah. in a month? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> like, how, what percent? For real. Not, not. We're talking like 70%? Yeah. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, train wrecks. Actually, I, I see him sometimes kind of um, like rant on Twitter about this stuff and also about like why people don't recognize him as much as a larger streamer, like with his numbers. But I think what he fails to understand is that it's because he's in a category that is kind of hidden. Like if someone is big within gambling, a 90% of Twitch viewers like don't watch gambling. Mm -hmm. That's why. Whereas if he... But why is he even complaining? It's like, bro, you play slots. What recognition do you want? I you play he's slots. Like, yeah, he's like, I stream this much and I have this viewership and no one's talking about me. But if you did that across the popular platforms, everybody would be talking about you. Oh. But you do that in a, in a category that people... Don't talk about that much. Yo, like I play slots I never so have a homie be like, hey, yo, this person just won a million dollars. Like, you know? Mm. Yo, I play slots so fucking hard, bro. Why nobody recognize me? Um, he said on our stream, he, he, they pay him $2 million a month for the gambling. Mm. I'm sure that's gone up, to be honest. Yeah, it's probably more. But if you look at Twitch right now, you can see the... Is this the most popular... Well, six... Is that Twitch right now, right now? Yeah, right now. Yeah. Whoa, that's way bigger than I would have yeah. expected. Every time I go, it's, it's a lot. Like, if you go to Twitch right wow. now... Wow. Yeah, you know, let's go see. It, it really does blow me away. Um, let's see. Um, categories you would like, or fuck. How Just do click I... the word categories. What, bottom what okay. do you fall under? Um, I do... Just chatting, a okay. lot of gaming, a lot of Valorant. That's my Here. primary game. Mm -hmm. I've been playing Played Up recently. I've played Among Us. I've played Fortnite in the past, Minecraft, GTA, everything, really. Let's sort by uh, view count. So it's right here. You're right. It's not, not at the top, but it's like no, 10. No, 60,000 is way more than I expected. Can you click it? Sure. It's because the Russian Stein is live. Oh, and, uh, I've yeah, literally, I've never even looked at the category. Yeah, it's all slot machines, too, which is, like, the most fucked-up form of gambling. Mm. And it's all stake. Pretty incredible. And the least interesting to watch, too, is what yeah, gets me. Yeah, how is that interesting Like, at least, watch? like, poker, there's, like, strategy going on, Ooh. and, like, there's a game to it. It's a slot machine. There's, yeah. like, nothing happening. It's well, easiest dude. for kids to understand. <laughs> I guess. Mm, interesting, though. interesting. I've had so many people, even mods that I have reach out to me and say like, thank you for speaking out against this mm -hmm. because like I know someone in my family who's addicted and it has just oh. like ruined our entire family. Like the yeah. impact that this yeah. can have, no. people don't really see at all. They say gambling is, is the deadliest addiction actually. Really? It results in the most unaliving of any addiction. It's, really? It is horrible, yeah, it's horrible. It's very, 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 very destructive. I mean, love here used Twinkly. to, he t love got he tells about how he got sucked into gambling with from CS:GO yeah. gambling Ooh. back back in the day cuz he's a yeah, young man. You, you started gambling at what age love? 14 probably. Yeah. I um mean. and I got to say ever since these Twitch streamers been been becoming bigger cuz I watch XQC a lot and that shit makes my gambling addiction tingle. Oh. Uh, it's bad. Yeah. It's yeah. really bad. Makes you want to does it make you want to play slots or something else? I mean I, I I'm pretty I, I can keep myself from doing it, but I, I sometimes love. I'm like, should I should I do it? Should I do it? I just Don't got my paycheck. It. I just got my paycheck. Should I? Can do I that? ask you and, though? I'm just mm -hmm. curious to prod into the emotion a little bit. Is it because you're you have a dream of winning a lot of money, or you just like no. the idea, or what is it? I don't know. It's just like it's something I can. It's definitely not the money. That was that was it before when I did it when I was younger. I wanted mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's something way less uh, con uh, contrasty or whatever it's called. Yeah, can't even less concrete. It's more yeah, of a, less concrete. Yeah, it's more of a okay. That is interesting. Wow. Yeah, apparently somebody said that um, Trainwreck lost sixteen million dollars. Is that right? 
That's what the message said. Train just, lost 800 Bitcoin last stream, which is 16 million. In dollars. one stream? Yeah. But I just wonder, like, when they say those kind of statements, how real is it? Like, is that money that was just given for him to play with and then he lost it? Cause, 100%. So then it's like, I, who cares? So. You know that, what I that, mean? That's what I Actually, think. Actually, yeah, they've probably never deposited money. That's Hell exactly. No. So, like, yeah, no. yeah, you lost. 20 million. Like, who cares? That's all money they put in your bank to play with. Yeah, because it's, it's part of the sponsorship. They have a vested interest in you keep playing. Viewers don't be fooled when they say stuff like that. They want to act like, oh, I'm, I'm detracting my audience from doing this. You're no. actually just flexing the fact that you can gamble mm -hmm. with millions and millions of dollars. Like, that's not normal. Let me ask you if this. If you have that much money, go... Go do something. Go promote something else, man. Hmm. You do not need that's gambling good. money. Let me ask you this, because we were looking at train, train wreck recently, and he gets into this thing where he's like, do not gamble, guys. You will lose everything. It's going to ruin your life. <laughs> yeah. Gambling, it's horrible. Don't do it. So like, what if do you, you really think believe that? that, you wouldn't promote it. Yeah. It's that simple to me. Yeah. Interesting. There's so many, like, gimmicks and, like, marketing stuff. People, If you don't want people to gamble, don't promote it. Mm -hmm. he, goes, he goes, I like gambling. It's fun. It's my pastime. But you guys, don't ever gamble. If it's your pastime, you don't need to promote it. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know, like, if you know your behavior as a streamer, as a content creator, as an influencer, as a whatever, a person in the public eye, you have to understand your behavior influences what other people want to do. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, well, they maybe know that. don't They're showcase paid. that. They're paying them. So, clearly that. I'm trying to send There you go. There it is. You know, you heard it right here from uh, the Pokemon's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like, uh, I saw that you talked in your video about how it's kind of hard for you to talk about, but you wanted to maybe get into other things other yeah. than gaming. Yeah. What is, what, do you think about anything specific or is it just you kind of feeling like over it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I've been streaming since I was like 17 and every two years or so, I kind of just hit a roadblock where I'm like, I, I need to disappear for a little bit and just kind of. Touch grass mm -hmm. and touch base <laughs> with myself. But this time when I took a break, I came back feeling like I, I don't want to lead my life in the exact same way that I used to, mm -hmm. especially in regards to streaming. Just because it's not as creatively fulfilling for me now as it once was. Like I want to do it two, three times a week, not six times a week, mm -hmm. thinking about it all the time, keeping up with trends, because that's what top streamers do. Mm -hmm. You have to always yeah. know what's going on, and honestly, you have to work your schedule around streaming schedule, because certain things pop off, like kind of unannounced, certain things happen for very specific periods of time, and you have to make sure that you're around for those times. And I'm like, I, I just want to start exploring other avenues, especially vlogging, especially like Instagram, TikTok, mm -hmm. just posting more content on those platforms, making um, like pre-produced content, reels, mm -hmm. all those things, really. Anything aside from yeah, I mean, just yeah. streaming and gaming. We understand that, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's why we did the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, you can only do the same thing for so long. Exactly. And it's not a, and it's not a diss to anyone who does that, obviously. No. It's like, you know. But if you evolve you out gotta of change. it, that's human nature, you know? Yeah. It was yeah. really hard because we were so stuck in the, like, reaction mm -hmm. videos. and. I think you and... guys kind of tried to juggle initially. Mm -hmm. And then at one point you were like, we just we're just going to do this. We just couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. It was just done. Yeah. <laughs> and probably, like, it works way better with your lifestyle, especially as oh parents, God. as yes. business owners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I completely the, feel That you. was part of, like, why we needed to, to change, too. Because mm -hmm. it's like you grow up, you figure, wait, it's going to be healthy for me to be able to take the weekend off. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, simple things that you just kind of, like, neglect. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's very... It's it's kind of an all-consuming lifestyle. Mm -hmm. the, th the truth is, if you want longevity, you yeah. have to be aware of the signals that mm. you're getting from yourself, and you need to change, yeah. or you're going to fucking, Just you burn know, out to you're going to end up jerking throw. off your dog and then talking about it on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bad shit happens, you know what I mean? And pretending like it's not... Honestly, <laughs> like, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt of, like, maybe that was a joke. No. Nope. No. Mm. They talked about it for so weird. much. It was not. Very, very There's weird. no, like, humor in it. I don't know. When I see stuff like that, also, it makes me realize, like, wow, there are so many pockets of the internet. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, right. bro. Oh, my There's God. half a million people that think this is cool. Okay. <laughs> Yo, a little scary. I'll stay over here. <laughs> Daniel.
fan just gave me a fan. This fan is so quiet. Oh. Huh. You guys want a fan? You got well, that's extras? why we got them. We there's one blowing up my. I've attached it to the scorpion chair here. I don't know. Dude, I this love the setup. So, so cool. The nice. scorpion yeah, chair. It, so damn cool. It looks cooler than it is. Is this like a you. low a low noise fan? Yeah, they're just really real quiet. I wouldn't say low noise, but. You I can don't hear, hear it. It's definitely quieter than the AC which we have running, and I'm <laughs> yeah, sure it can be right. heard on the mic. So, you know, it is so fucking hot right it's now. It's a hot yeah. ass day. It's I don't know what LA's happened getting today. Too spicy. Usually the AC like you can feel it more. Mm -hmm. I guess it's just that hot. I'm oh, getting an hot. excessive Ooh, heat that's warning. Nice. That thing is nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, Bless thank your soul. You. Yeah. Oh, we got fans for everybody. Yes, Shredder. He's helping. Mine doesn't pick up mine. Dex? I'm listening. Ah, that's nice. No, it's... People are asking, you have no AC? We do. There's two units in this building. They're both on. It's just that hot. Yeah. The insulation. Honestly, the insulation also, in keep in mind, light. Yeah, that's a big part yeah, of it. yeah, we're sitting in the Talking. light. Yeah. You're always going to sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's fine. Usually it's great in here. Also, shout out to the crew. Can someone play yeah. the applause button? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the, there's literally thank, no thank insulation. You. Like, the roof is open to the elements in so many spots. The elements. Look like I mean, I can see the outside right there. <laughs> my head, a like... little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's Maybelline. <laughs> I definitely hear it on your mic, Ela. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry to be a buzzkill. <laughs> yeah, this is way too good, I feel like. Ah, oh, that's so nice. I shouldn't be that comfortable right yeah, now. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think just take your time and do what feels right, but it's good. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's good. You took a month off. Yeah, I just needed to tell bit. people like, hey, don't expect full-time streamer hours from me anymore. Mm -hmm. Do it. you have any idea kind of like in terms of like moving towards something aggressively in a big way? Like for us, it was the podcast. Like we had an idea. A lot of times we're just kind of wandering around, mm -hmm. wondering what are we going to do, and then we'll get struck with a really good idea that sticks with us like mm -hmm. and so we'll go after that do you feel like you have something like that or not yet i think for me right now what i am most excited by is the idea of some sort of combination between like vlogs and like sit down talking about topics mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah especially seeing such good reception to my most recent video mm -hmm. i'm like yeah y'all want to hear some more shit i got some more shit to mm -hmm, say mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah and i find it's as, as someone who is used to like four to eight hour form content, shortening something and kind of just like jotting down notes and saying it for like a five to ten minute video feels so good. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. pretty. Like really so good. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the two things I'm yeah, that, hoping it, I can do something. It was so hard for us to go the opposite way mm -hmm. from that's all that people saw to then seeing like the unedited. And I <laughs> find that interesting too because it's like. <laughs> I think every now and then, and I've seen videos of YouTubers who do what I want to do, and they're like, guys, I'm kind of over this. <laughs> and I think yeah. it's just like human nature. Yeah. And different things fit with your lifestyle different times. So go with what works, you know? Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, I think you're doing the right thing. So Thanks. just keep doing I'm it. I'm excited. And, uh, and doing more stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That way, way more time to be like, I'll just dedicate this day to a podcast. And like normally... If this was me two years ago, I'd be like, okay, after this stream, I need to go on my stream. Right. Yeah. That's what like, we do with Hassan, Hassan every Thursday. Yeah. And his ass is always like Bro. out the door. Yep. I don't know. But he loves it. He's like a that. beast. Yeah. I don't know. What so hard. Yeah. yeah. And when you're in that mode of like, I love it and it's I want to do it all the time, do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're not there anymore, it feels like torture. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. That's where we were with our reaction video content. Yeah. Exactly. It was fucking it's soul all, it's wrenching. It's all about perspective. Yeah. It was soul wrenching, dude. <laughs> yeah, okay, Especially so. Especially when you feel pressure to do something. Yeah. By your audience or by whoever. Mm -hmm. It takes it takes a bit of the fun out of that. I, I reckon that at some point, like, a, a fun game might come out, and then boom, I'll just be streaming it every day. <laughs> but at least I'll do that when I want to. Yeah, not exactly. Not when I feel forced to. But I'm just going to see if PP got back to me. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, we have a lawyer that we, you know, PMP, the guy who, um, let's go, let's go, the let's go guy who's like, sure. this let's dude go. got three homicides. He crashed into a house, <gasps> fell into the child's bed, I don't know, molested actually. the child. We got him off, no jail time. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh well, let me show you one. Um, 
Well, he, he oh, this we is... were trying to get him to call in, but I guess. I wanted to find out if jerking your dog off <laughs> is illegal or not. <gasps> I'm interested too. I want to, <laughs> I need a legal analysis. I am. <laughs> I'll just show you my favorite PMP. I mean, oh, everybody's right, seen these who the watches, but this is just, it's so fucking good, dude. You're going to love Wait, it. Wait, is this the guy that you did FaceTime at some point? We talked to him, yeah. 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 Uh, I, I remember him. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Real How do you fan find alert. The time to watch? Bro, I <laughs> love, I am like chronically listening to something. It's probably bad. No, but I, like I listen it. to the podcast a lot because I think you guys are one of the only podcasts that is like long form streamed. And talks about like current events, mm. pop culture, Let's internet go. stuff. Like, really, are there even that many? I don't think anyone makes no. as much content as us. That's for sure. True. Like, you guys talk about yeah. all I mean, the topics, things I haven't even heard of. Honestly, I, whenever I have the time, I yeah. put it on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just the it's great, and it it kind of feels like <laughs> just uh, just like overhearing it's friends' fun. conversations. Yeah. I love it. I love that's it. That's the idea, you know. But I'm really <laughs> glad to hear family. that. But, um, family, Absolutely. family, family, family. 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 What's going on, Dan? Stop! <laughs> Stop! It's just saying your fan is still in a juice. Yeah. I'm gonna rig it up. Oh. Oh, Dan. Dan is spooning the fan. Thank this you. This is good high sir. production value. <laughs> what are the, I've never seen wow, these wow. effects, Dan. What's the situation here? Wow, wow. From the professor. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> You've kept them on. Family. Family. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Dan is using a giant oh. clothesline. <laughs> Cool. I wow. thought it was a boom mic. This is a boom holder, but that fucking oh, okay. lamp. Uh, Damn. A massive. <laughs> I put the glasses on. Yeah. Uh, it's called a C stand, actually. <laughs> All right, a C stand. Thank you. We love a good C stand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for like overhead shots. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Actually, I love that. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, baby. Zach, don't, don't, don't tell me shit. <laughs> don't fuck yeah. this up for you. It sounds good. Okay, okay. thank you, Zach. Beautiful. All right, let me just show you this, and then let's talk about Angie Taylor. Um, <laughs> All right. This is just my favorite song. I forgot we were going to talk about it. Yeah. All right, we're right outside of Van Nuys Courthouse. I got my great client here. He was charged with a second-time DUI. Uh, he admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. Uh -huh. It caused a drug-induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on a freeway and flipped over a few times. Luckily, everyone made it out all right. Um, the fire department came with the police, used the jaws of life, dragged him out of the car the and started fighting with them. They charged him with <laughs> resisting arrest also. Um, and we're pleased to announce that he's getting out of this with just a wet reckless, a reckless <laughs> driving, one year of probation, not five years what? that is normally given in a second time DUI. <laughs> and most importantly, he's really changed his life around. He put himself in rehab oh, immediately great. after this happened. He's been in for nine months. He does we meetings every it. single day and he's really turned his life around. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you so much, Davis, for everything I've done. All let's right, we're oh, right. That's the weirdest thing I've ever yeah. The only to one who doesn't say let's go. Yeah, at let's the end go. Of, yeah. That is a massive like lawyer vouch. I want to hire him yeah, now. That's what I'm right. saying, bro. He's the this best. dude did the most fucked up shit, yeah. <laughs> and I got him off on nothing. <laughs> the comments You're are hired. great. It goes, this dude's unleashing super villains. <laughs> Bro's never going to get a job after this TikTok. <laughs> that's so fucking true. Nah, this ain't right. That's why he had the mask up. He was like, I can't let him know it's me. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. This is our boy, PMP, friend of the show. Good let's guy. go. Let's Maybe. go. All right, let's talk about Andrew Tate. <laughs> I don't know how much you've talked about, or this whole have... phenomenon maybe took place when you were on your break. Yes. Oh. Okay. Literally, okay, I left, and throughout that month, that's when Andrew Tate became more popular, mm -hmm. and then I think God did me a solid. <laughs> For Seriously. Real. Right before I came back, gonzo. <laughs> so, you know? Save me the hassle of talking about all this, but all right, let's get into it. So you were following it all. So what was your thoughts on watching that all happen from afar? Mm, I think a part of me, Loki, I was like, you know, it was like seeing the incels rise up again. I was like, I need to come back right now. The people oh, you wanted need to come saving. back. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe that's I mean, the only reason he even had his rise. You were the bulwark and without you, <laughs> all of a sudden. When we needed the absurd. avatar the most. Yes, <laughs> yes. I think, I think to me it just made me really sad because I thought 
mm, as internet users, we had kind of moved past this sort of this sort of talk, this sort of misogyny, this sort of rhetoric, and to see it come back and rise up in such a massive manner, I guess was, yeah, just surprising and kind of sad to see, especially in regards to the harassment that it resulted in. But something that I think people don't discuss enough is clearly there must be a lot of especially young men who for some reason resonate with what Andrew Tate is saying. Why is that? And are there any takeaways that we can take from that in order to not have things snowball so far out of control in the future. Right. Yeah, that's a good question. I I yeah, also great. agree. I didn't know where the I didn't know this thing was even brewing. I mean, you see a lot of small fries like Fresh and Fit who are like small time misogynists. <laughs> yeah. And Rollo Tony Brown Town who's like an even smaller town uh, misogynist. But Andrew Tate is like just became so big. I, and I agree. I don't know. Obviously, there's he's a symptom of a problem yeah and I'm not quite sure why young men in America or around the world even are so fucking dissatisfied or and then, you know what you know? I think it might be actually I think there might be some things he says because obviously I really have not seen much of his content so I'm kind of going off of the reactions of people I think there must be some things he says, just like general life advice, perhaps, Mm -hmm. that does resonate with people or provide value. But then I think he takes it too far, sometimes as a gimmick or for the memes or for the laughs or for the whatever. Right. Yeah. But I guess to me, it just shows like young men must not have many people to listen to or many people that are giving them advice like this. Role models. Yeah. Many role models that are kind of guiding them. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure. Like, you know, there are issues for that both genders face, and clearly young dudes, you know, they need some assistance, I guess. I don't know. Well, what is wrong? Are they not getting it's enough love at sad. home? You know what I mean? Are men I, not uh, being nurtured by their fathers? And, and They might not be. Since, yeah, they might not be. Ever since it became such a big thing, like, the more we talk about it to people in our life, not on the internet, just people, they all have a story of, like, oh, yeah, this guy was just telling me that he really looks up to <clears throat> Tate. Yeah. And so it really enriched like a lot of people. Exactly. And when I hear stuff like that, I'm like, I'm curious what content of Andrews that they're that they referring like. to. Yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like there's such a spectrum. I don't know. Well, that's the self-help aspect is so like uh, generic. Anyone can do it, you know, deliver the same fucking uh, but I think tried probably and true like self-help stuff. Nice people deliver it in a nice way, and yeah. he delivers it in a very sensationalized manner, mm-hmm. which works for some folks. Well, it's nice to think that everything bad in your life isn't your fault. I mean, Jordan <laughs> Peterson does the same thing. But I don't know. I don't know if men from this generation, like, were just didn't get enough fucking love. Like, women or young girls, their parents nurture them in general. I'm being general, but I think it's true where young girls see a, an affection and a, specifically from dads, let's say, uh, that young boys, pro- maybe that's not as true now. I think that's changed a bit where, where people my age and younger are feeling more comfortable being sensitive and, and mm-hmm. loving to, to, their child, to their boys. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if um, boys did not get enough nurturing. I really do. I don't know. You know, aside from just parental nurturing, I wonder what friendships between men ages like 14 to 21 look like. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious. Because I feel like when I see guys who have really healthy friendships, Hmm. people that they can be vulnerable with, people that they can talk to, People that they can hug every now and then if they need a hug. I feel like it makes such a difference in just like how well-rounded they are as a human being. Mm-hmm. That's very true. But again, it's like we need a, you guys need to bring on like a 15 year old Andrew Tate fanboy. <laughs> interview him. See what's up. <laughs> Extrapolate I some mean, information. <laughs> we've seen them. They're just like him. They don't fucking listen. Like Sneeko. I've heard him debate people. He just and, calls he's older, all ugly, though. I imagine. And he's he's older. He's older, but he's not as old as me. But I think they're just, I mean, it's like almost like a MAGA level of Ugh. delusion, like cultish delusion. Like there's, there's really, at, once they've fallen into the Tate hole, there's almost no sense. 
they've lost all sense of it uh, makes me kind of scared being in an industry that is like so adjacent to that like gaming streaming I don't know yeah but I think I think there's a lot of toxic masculinity which Jordan I know I'm sorry Jordan Peterson <laughs> toxic masculinity <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck does that mean your impression is so good. Thank you. Finally, somebody admits that. <laughs> everybody, make, everybody makes fun of my... It's okay. No. What is the meaning of just? No. The is other it one. just the other? Well, oh, but, yeah. wasn't as good? Fuck you. What did I do? What happened? <laughs> fuck you, Pokey. We got the other line on point, though. Pokey, fuck you. <laughs> what? Tos toxic masculinity. You're doing it wrong. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, but I think toxic masculinity really just comes from men not being nurtured enough. I do. I that's, see people in opinion. the chat resonating with that. And there's like, here's a couple of things. Like, I mean, think back, young men or men my age, think back to how your dad, right. my dad was fucking not, my yes. dad would never tell me like he loves me, just like that, for example. Not that I didn't know, but I mean, you know, like mm -hmm. there's no fucking personal loving connection there. Uh, uh, and I a think deal? it was like that for all my friends and their dads too. It's like, you know, it's this old school thing of the, the men go to work and our emotional black holes and we just provide. And it's the mother's job to nurture the boys. Mm -hmm. But that's just half of the fucking pick. Boys need their dads I a think, lot. I think guys need, I don't know if this sounds weird. Guys need love from guys too. If it's your dad, if it's your yes. friends, if it's your, like, you need to have other men in your life that you can speak to, honestly, share your troubles, yeah. learn from each other, grow together. This is daddy issues, I think, is what we're oh, seeing Oh, and you know what else I think it is? I think there's been such a, like, female empowerment movement mm. that when you're young, if you're like a 12-year-old boy, you don't really understand the history of the women's movement or why women say certain things or express certain difficulties that they go through, why other women support women so much, or why some guys go out of their way to support women, right? It's, it's mm. because of this historic, you know, these issues that we've had in the past. But if you're literally 10 and you see this, you're like, women are treated so much better than men. You know, mm -hmm. like you just don't mm -hmm. get it. And then I think, I feel like they're fighting back against that a little bit. They're like, wait, there's these double standards. Yeah, Things totally. are not fair when in, in reality, they don't understand the full context, yeah. They don't... Yeah. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> no, it, do, it does. Ela, what were you going to say? Um, Chat is yelling at me. I, didn't even I was going to read a comment <laughs> and then I lost it. But it, they were saying, like, um, I saw a few that they were... They grew up in such a way that they're, they're doing a lot of, like, unlearning now and re-thinking. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they, they still need to do it because it's... Um, we all grew up like that. And there's a lot of changing to do. When you as a man come very close to a woman, whether it's romantic or a sibling, mm -hmm. and you you experience like a real closeness to them, like with Eli, I learned so much from her just about there's certain situations you find yourself in where you don't feel safe yeah. around men mm -hmm. constantly. It's things that you have to worry about that I totally get. Mm -hmm. um, you you brought up a lot of uh, good examples that I can't recall. Like what what are some examples, you know, that men would never, deep men like this, they don't even think about what, what it's like to live like that. I mean, I think Like getting we in an Uber, talking, Yeah, for we were example. talking recently, yeah. just any situation where you're one-on-one -on -one with a guy. Right. It can be anywhere. It elevator, can be just walking in the street Uber, at night. Uber, guys behind yeah, you. Yeah, Uber, elevator. Some dude cat calls you. Yeah. Having, demanding attention from you. Like having to have a technician at home, you know. Oh yeah, that's anything scary. Anything that's like one-on-one -on -one is really scary. <laughs> Really because scary. you hear all these horror stories all the time, if it's a friend, a family member, or a stranger. And so, like, as a woman, you're constantly being told, like, be on guard. <laughs> and so we kind of have to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even, like, trying to make friends that are guys, you have to be so careful. Mm -hmm. Especially, like, what, can I hang out with him one-on-one? -on -one? Is he going to consider it a date? Is it this? Is it that? Like, ev every little thing you don't want guys to take the wrong way, obviously. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, women are already, they're now, even now, being challenged for their rights. I mean, of bodily autonomy, so. True. It's a little bit. You know, actually, uh, just to share an experience within gaming that I, I feel like growing up, I didn't understand women's issues that much because 
I lived in like middle of Buffalo, nowhere. Went to a small elementary school, small high school. Just grew up kind of like n normal, kind of naive. Once I entered the gaming space, and especially once I started blowing up within gaming, that's when I truly started understanding the nuances mm. and the differences in how men and women can be treated, both by men and women. And one of the things that was so hard for me to come to terms with was when I felt like I was being treated unfairly, especially in the beginning, like 2018, 2019, and I could tell even though I had men in my life and in the industry that I knew so well, and that I was close to, I could sense that they had such a fear and avoidance of speaking up for me because they were scared that they would be called a simp or a white knight or whatever. Their, it's the same thing. And if you yeah. think about it, like if you're afraid, I feel like that that's so unfortunate. You're scared to speak up for your friend due to their gender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, as a girl, it makes me think of, well, goddamn, I wish I was a guy, so you wouldn't mind, like, backing me up. They're, they're scared of their fans. Yeah. Which, you know. And it was just such a sad realization to come to, mm -hmm. or a sad thing to even be told from people. Yeah. Or by people, so. Yeah. They don't want to be targeted by the fucking yeah. goons out there. But it's also, like, the more, the more you avoid that, the more you're letting them win. Like, you're letting that narrative win. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, that's part of the reason why so many fucking people hate me on the internet is because <laughs> I really, you know... Yeah, you stand up for whatever the hell. To speak, to speak <laughs> my true thoughts. And there was a time when I would avoid talking about certain things. I was like, oh, the, my fans are going to fucking be so pissed at me. And I think over time on this podcast, we've I've been able to shed that thing. And actually, we just cultivated fans who... Um, are tolerant of that. I say. completely yeah. agree. Because the like, as a fan, yeah. I, I've seen you guys, like, over time, discuss so many topics, and I just come to understand, like, one, I think it's amazing that you're not af afraid of any topic. You're not afraid to tread on any ground, really. And two, like, even if at some point, as a viewer, I disagree or I don't or whatever, I will still nonetheless respect the fact that you're willing to put your opinion out there. Because a lot of the time, it does make a big difference mm -hmm. that you're down to talk about those topics that other people won't. Yeah, See? thank you. But <laughs> yeah, I think, I, think, <laughs> I think it's part of the problem with why I was going crazy is because I knew that we were garnering a lot of reactionary fans that I mm. fucking hated. And what I do didn't, you mean reactionary fans? Like a conservative uh, fucking, like... All women, right. Racist. All right. Oh. Yeah, racist... Uh, how? Probably. From I was doing like a lot of social justice warrior stuff back in the day, you know, like the AC oh, thing and the the humongous thing. <laughs> and so whenever I would express an opinion that was like a little bit liberal uh, or something, yeah. it was like fucking lib bullshit, and it just turned into this whole thing. And uh, I just realized that I was starting to hate my fans. I was like, mm -hmm. these people suck. I don't want to fucking turn into some weird freak that just caters to them and so I think that's it was an important realization to make mm -hmm. it was and it was painful there was years and years of just everybody scrubbing about hating us. <laughs> everybody hating us get out bro, i mean you guys out. know you were there in the trenches with me dan more dan the beginning Zach, of Ian. the podcast was really yeah. rough just yeah there was a there was a some growing pains i guess you could call it as you sort of <laughs> shed that the vestiges of that part of your fan base but yeah you know, we Fall. got through it. We came out the other side stronger. We call True. them fallen fans. They're easy to spot. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Anyway, that's it. But um, that's Those are the strongest haters. But um, yeah, I've always thought it was difficult to be a woman on the internet. Like people think mm -hmm. it's so easy and it's like a cheat code or something. But um, it's really and it's a male dominated. Uh, Don't you love that when they, somebody wants to diss you, they have to call you ugly? <laughs> like, I get that a lot, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, Keith, that was Keith's go-to thing. And you get Two that out of 10, all the bro. time. <laughs> ugly, not funny, content sucks. And it's like, <laughs> just move on. That's, that's It's funny good, because yeah. they'll both say, people only like you for your looks, but yes. you're ugly. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Make it make sense, May, Decide which one Something's is it. Something's not adding up. <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> 
Yeah, Andrew Tate actually made a video calling Ela ugly. <gasps> how? Oh yeah. How dare he? Yeah, yeah. No, we have a pretty good thing going on. But that's it. People, whenever, whenever these bros get angry at me, they always go after Ela and call her ugly, which is like the. the <laughs> The silliest way to try to insult I, me because I know objectively she's beautiful. They're insulting me when they do that. They're uh -huh. I'm going to war. For real. It's the biggest self-report. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keemstar calls her. Keemstar does the horse I've meme. Seen that, yeah. Which makes me so. Well, he's angry. just such a fucking loser. I mean, yeah, what can you loser. say? Uh, hi, hi, hi. Like the yeah. dude is dating a fucking uh, 18 years and one day year old. What makes me sad is like, he's he's a father, right? Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. I've had mixed. Re he was dating this woman oh. who he broke up with, and I'm still not sure if that's his biological daughter mm. or it was his They're... ex girlfriend's daughter. Oh. Do we have any intel on that, AB? I'm not sure, honestly. Daddy. I always thought it was his biological daughter. That's I what I thought wrong. too for a long time. But all of a sudden. Is she still with him? The, the daughter? Because he would always show her. And yeah, he, he still, yeah. He does yeah. do that. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. He is. Well, a, so let's say he's a dad. Yeah, and I mean, as, he he raised her, right? Mm -hmm. As a father, it it makes me so sad to see someone who's a dad not understand the repercussions of insulting a woman's appearance. Mm -hmm. Only mm. Yeah. you disagree with someone or you don't like them, and that's the one thing you go after. If you don't understand that, I don't have a lot of faith. <laughs> no offense. In you to raise your daughter with like love and compassion. Of course not. He's a monster, dude. That makes sense. But me that so was sad. one of the big things that I always thought was so funny that like Leafy and Keemstar, they're like, oh, two out of ten or something. What was the thing that used yeah. to say? Yeah. That, was, that used to drive me <laughs> crazy. I was like, who gives a You know fuck? what? Uh, maybe someday, but as he's raising his daughter, so... maybe he'll understand. If she comes right. home and she's like, yeah, this, this guy said this, <laughs> you'll understand what that. Mm -hmm. But they're that, both the effect such, that it can have on someone. Yeah. They're such goblins, though. <laughs> like, have you seen Leafy's face? Honest. The kid is a fucking goblin. Yeah, I don't take it that personally. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just saying. You well, know the yeah, saying yeah. that's like, uh, only take advice from people you admire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, in that capacity, I can't say I admire them. So, it's okay. You know. Yeah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, if you ask, if you ask Keemstar and his. These kids are pimply face and just fucking like undateable fucking losers. And the same month they go, let's see, Pokey is a two, Ela's a horse, and Lena's a witch. It's yeah. like, <gasps> yeah, looks like a. I'm I about know, to throw hands. Oh my god. <laughs> They're yeah. such losers, bro. Golly. Get your eyesight checked. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I feel very foolish. You know, it really doesn't. It doesn't. I don't find it offensive though, because well, first of all, it's, they're insulting you, so it's up to you. But I don't think no, it bothers I don't. you at all. I don't. It's like I find it funny. It's funny, yeah. It's and like, sad. what do you care? What do I care? What you think? How attractive she is? I don't. No, care. less so than that. And I, I, I wouldn't even go after their looks personally. For me, it just makes me sad. They're kind of like brainwashing their yeah. young audience to just yeah. regurgitate similar insults towards women. Whereas it's like, mm -hmm. listen, and if simultaneously you- simultaneously say chauvinism is, doesn't exist. Yeah, if you have an issue with someone and they are a girl, that's okay. But just think about it. Why do I not like them? And is that reason reasonable? Don't just jump straight well, to, mm, you make me feel weird, so you're ugly. Like, the <laughs> fuck? Well, you, when you say someone's ugly as an insult, you're reducing that person down to their physical appearance being their only redeeming mm -hmm. attribute. And then the same people go, mis uh, misogyny doesn't exist. It's like, you're fucking so brain dead. <laughs> you're so lost in your own manosphere fucking uh, abyss hole that you, you'll, never, you'll never get a date. You'll, you will only ever fuck a fleshlight. And you know that's there's nothing wrong with that, because at this why do women get all the fun toys and men gotta fucking like, fuck a flashlight? It's not fair, but it is what it is. I It'd be like nice tenuous? that the emotional part you can't, you'll never emotionally bond with that flashlight as at least as as far as I'm aware. Better than jerking off a dog. I'm busted. I I try to be a little more optimistic. Like I hope I hope someday you fall in love and someone loves you and you can be happier and then you will likely not talk like that to other people. Right. I really feel like if you have experienced good love in life, you're just not one of those folks. Mm, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. AB said years later, people are still calling 
Lena a witch, which is insane. I mean, that's all keeps Where? Going. Literally where? Um, we posted a picture on my Instagram, yeah. And someone said it'd be hilarious if that uh, rock fell on that wicked witch. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, you guys are always super humble Thanks when you for when you talk about it. <laughs> but oh yeah, let's. Oh, let's mm. I'm are, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> you are. Let's so, find your mommy. I just. Yeah, I just want to talk. Yeah, like Hila said, though. It I don't think they have an me, account like, anymore. It's, it's Gonzo. What, Lena? It doesn't bother me, other than like the way that they think that it would get to us describing yeah, our doesn't. physical appearance. Yeah. It doesn't get to me like they think it does. Yeah. It's also, just wild because at the time we weren't even hired by you guys, mm -hmm. which is insane that he just went after nobody's like, yeah. Also, can I please say you are three of literally the hottest women that, ever? That, like yeah, that is the most funny. ridiculous That's insult. That's why it's so funny. It just, it shows how put that like, yeah. it's just Elbows so too pointy. It's just, if anyone knows fuck? that, babe, it's literally the hat. <laughs> Like oh that my god. Too what is that? So, oh my god. Listen, I've been an internet goblin for a very long time. <laughs> and there used to be this meme where it's essentially a guy like. Uh, yeah, trying to like insult a woman, and he's like, her elbows are too pointy. Four out of ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, elbows too pointy? What the fuck? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> These dudes like barely interact with women, and yet they think their standards should be up there. Yeah. It's beyond me. Well, the good news is, you know, to, there's lots, there's a huge variety of fleshlights on the market now, <laughs> so you'll be able to cycle through those, and again, the emotional part's the part I'm worried about, though. <laughs> I wish them the best. Peace and love. I hope you move past this phase of your life. Yeah. yeah grow, so, but, grow out of it. Yeah. But I do want to talk about, I, I have to pee, I gotta do that. <laughs> when I come back, I will show you guys the cease and desist that Andrew <laughs> that we're Tate still to talk about. sent us. Would have you read it? Do you want me to read it out while you're peeing? I haven't read it yet. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll wait. We'll read it yeah, together. We'll it. But, um, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. Any questions from the chat? Any questions from the crew? What's up, crew? Oh, yeah. What's hey. up? Hey. <laughs> How we doing? We're good, we're good. How are you guys? Good. Do you have any spicy things you're curious about? AMA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I, I was just curious if you pronounce your name Iman or uh, I may try to answer that because my sister's name is Iman and she yeah. always was a fan of you so the Arabic mm -hmm. way yeah actually it, if anything in Arabic it's a bit more like Iman Iman right yes. Christ, uh. yeah. which means faith yeah mm -hmm. which I love so cute you speak yeah. Arabic Shwia. so I speak the mm -hmm. Moroccan dialect okay. there's like a billion dialects yeah, in yeah, Arabic yeah. Mm -hmm. so if someone speaks a different kind of Arabic sometimes I can pick up on like certain words Mm -hmm. But not all of it, really, <laughs> sadly. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah, me too. I always say that because um, I only speak mainly Lebanese dialect. But yeah. Uh, most people kind of speak standard, and I have a difficult time understanding standard Arabic. I would love to learn standard. Lena's my really translator. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my gra grandparents spoke Arabic, and I wish really? that I learned, but I think when they started Israel, it was kind of like, Everybody speak Hebrew because okay. we, you know, mm -hmm. the the pride, the beef. I yeah. need to take the time to actually learn it. It's hard. I want to learn Arabic and Spanish. Oh yeah, I want to learn Spanish. Spanish is a bit easier because I know French. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Lebanese people love to speak French. They always want to learn French. Morocco too, because yeah. it was a French colony. Correct. Yeah. That's where I learned it. Yeah. Really love to learn to speak Swedish. Maybe love you can teach mm. me. <laughs> we love the Swedes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Swed <laughs> Swedish is uh, pretty hard because it's so unliteral. We'll say, for for example, uh, jump in bed. That means go go to bed. Uh, I don't know. Well, I see. I, I've heard a lo lot of people say that. I have a question actually. What's uh, up? I've, some content that I've really been enjoying uh, from you is the interviews with people. Uh, like uh, XQC and uh, <laughs> uh, the mini uh, podcasts. Yes, mm -hmm. I love them so much. Super, oh, like probably my favorite content on Twitch right now. Uh, you don't do do them too often. Are you are you planning Actually, on doing more? Actually, I think I might be doing one with Miss Kiff in like a week or two. Mm. Ooh, exciting! That's cool. Secret intel. <laughs> if it works now, out. I don't know. You, you, you bring you bring. Uh, I don't know. They they're never uh, like super emotion emotional. They never mm -hmm. show that side of themselves. And you kind of bring them, uh, bring that out of them. I think it's pretty interesting. Dude, you ask streamers stuff, and you'll be baffled by the kind of stuff that they tell you. I think a yeah. lot of top streamers, guys, like don't have that many close friends, unfortunately. Mm. And for people that are so popular and have so much in their life, right? It really makes me wonder. Like, I'm sure a lot of guys feel a similar type of loneliness. Yeah. 
So yeah. yeah. Anyways, thank you for enjoying that. Appreciate it. More thank to come. You. More to come. <laughs> awesome. So here's the letter. And again, let's get into it. It's yeah. worth noting. First of all, they put a 24 hour deadline on this to remove all offending content. <laughs> Easy and assist. It went to my lawyer's spam box for three days. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't say shit. Rip. And then when my when my lawyer decided to go through a spam box, he's like, "Oh shit, I got a, a spam from this shithead." What do you I want? I don't know me? what that smell is, but it smells so good. It just smells fresh mm. laundry. Is it my hands? Maybe. The soap? Mm. Yeah, maybe the it's fan. Right it's out out yeah. <laughs> it smells really good. Thank you. You want to smell my hands, Eva? Yes. Smell my hunger, that. Smell, it. <laughs> <laughs> smell my hunger. I want to smell feet. <laughs> yeah, so that's the Weird first say, that's the first funny thing about it. The second funny thing mm -hmm. is anyone that was following this knows that Andrew Tate has been crying about his right for to free speech. Free and a lot of conservatives and all the people defending him, influencers big and small. People that I some people that I even like and respect or who are like, yo, I don't believe what, what Andrew Tate says, but I, I defend his freedom of speech. I'm like, okay, no, bro, stop it. No! Wait, can I say something real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I saw this TikTok pop up on my For You page. <laughs> it was like, ladies, go to Andrew Tate's Instagram and then click on like the following followers, whatever, and then you can go to mutuals or something. Oh, that's and you game. see all the guys that you follow that's... that follow him. That you guys that were doing was that, right? Spicy. I Did you see someone any that surprised school? you? A lot of phase boys, no surprise. Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you... I Listen. called my friend who has a little brother who followed him, and I was like, "We gotta figure out what's happening." We gotta right talk, wow. talk to him. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I, I, you know, I can't say, you know, Andrew Tate maybe doesn't bring value to someone's life, but after everything that's occurred, I think you can also very clearly see what his views on women are. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, like Explicit. if you follow him, you might agree with that. You know, I can't say one to one, mm -hmm. but no, no, it was yeah. interesting it is intel. Yeah. You're, you're less informed, I'd say, because you were on break. You say you haven't seen all this yeah. stuff. It's one to one. It That's is crazy. No, it's like radical chauvinism. It's like radical violent chauvinism. I consider him to be a hate group. Mm -hmm. And if someone's following him, that's a fucking cry for help. That's crazy. Like, legitimate intervention is needed. You know that Instagram is public when you follow. Yeah. Him. Not just that. Yeah. Like y you're a public streamer, person with millions of followers. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, so he's crying about his freedom of speech. These guys are all freedom of speech warriors, you know. Uh, so so what does it mean now when I'm criticizing him mm -hmm. fairly, exercising my First Amendment rights of, to free speech like these people care about and love so well? What does it mean when Andrew Tate is sending me a cease and desist demanding I stop talking about him immediately? <laughs> what do we think about this? I haven't seen one free speech warrior speak up uh, and say that Andrew's a fucking hypocritical loser. That's the game. That's the game. That's the game. That is the game. You know, I'm, and people say, oh, you're not pro, pro, pro free speech. I am the free speech king, and I declare that <laughs> here and now. Someone give him a this crown. This is like my third defamation lawsuit if he sues me. Look at me, good fellow citizens. I have strengthened your right to use free speech on YouTube and all around the world. Actually, that's true. I am the free speech king. I have never litigated. I have never sued anyone. I have never compelled speech in my life. And by the way, all the people that sue me are conservatives. Let's see right. who's really in favor of free speech. Matt Haas, I don't know for sure. Well, something tells me he's MAGA. Know. We don't know. I don't know for sure. He's MAGA. <laughs> Fuck yes. Uh, Ryan oh, Kavanaugh. I like your hat from yesterday. Oh yeah, thank oh, you. God, yeah, those are so those funny. are bangers. You look like Mario. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I saw. I heard that a lot. I'll take it. It's very funny. Um, and Ela's giving Luigi vibes too, actually. Is she? I don't know. She's like she's not so not the man, but in the like she's tall and slender. Oh, okay. Like Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Too pretty. Oh. Amazing. Oh, wow. Bow to me, you <laughs> oh, yes. conservative pigs. I am your king, your ruler, the one true god of free speech. Suck a little bit of dick. Ryan Kavanaugh's MAGA. He sued me. Oh, my God. 
for defamation <laughs> and all I'm kinds of bullshit. Plowed. And now Andrew Tate, who's obviously MAGA, is threatening to sue me. And I hope he does so that I can prove to you all right now who the king of free speech is. They, and they, I invite they, all of you to up. kindly get on your knees and suck my tiny Jewish free speech appointed dick and balls. <laughs> suck a little bit of dick. Specifically, <laughs> a dick. my gnarly ass balls. Only if you're wearing a little bit of dick. Rick Owens, I have a little <laughs> hole for you guys. I can stick, remain fully clothed while you do it. My neck um, doesn't Ethan, exist. Someone asked if you could try the Andrew Tate um, accent. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at the Did English accent. Did you guys accent. watch? I saw Aiden Ross posted like, this is Andrew Tate's last message. And I clicked yeah. on it and it was an hour long. Yes. And I clicked off. Did you guys watch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we watched everything. We, and like bits can I get a TLDR? Oh, it's so bad. The TLDR is just that, oh, he's crying and being like, yo, I wasn't that serious, and people are taking it out of context, and he's lying. And he keeps, like, flexing, too. I lived a good life. I did the do. He's acting like he died. It's yeah. like an obituary for himself. It's very strange. For, for someone who, like, you know, he had his whole business Ponzi he had his thing. The hustle thing? Yeah. yeah. And he has people like reposting his content. Blah, blah, right. I assume he has garnered quite an understanding of how content functions. I was so surprised that for his last message, he chose for it to be an hour long. I like, agree. if you want to appeal to people who don't. It was so bad. Yeah. If you want to appeal to people who disagree with you, you shouldn't make it an hour long. <laughs> like, yep. make it a little more digestible. Well, it did work because he was on Fox News later. T Tucker Carlson, who has continued to talk about him, by the way. He's like a champion over on Fox News somehow. They don't care about anything he said or done. Anything about Fox News, bro. They're just like, you don't anything about Fox News? Nada. Tucker who? They're a bunch of... Uh, I hope he doesn't take that personally. White supremacist but, you know. fucking freaks. No, he's uh, he doesn't care. Anyway, sorry, go on. So anyway, <laughs> let's get into the season. Wait affairs. a second. As a viewer... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call you out on this. I feel like you've said this is gonna be the last time you're talking about Andrew Tate. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't get your feelings hurt because I watch every second, anyways. You know. <laughs> the man. Obviously, I said that. The man sent me in cease and desist, so I he opened back up the door. I understand. I, I understand. was gonna move on, which is ironic because he's trying to get me to stop talking about him. And then he sends True? me cease and desist, and True? I'm like, shut the. F okay, well, let's the go. Door, the door it. was almost closed. It was he just like it. there was just like a little slit. It was almost closed. If you're gonna like sue someone for not talking about you, number one, not Ethan Klein. <laughs> no, your opponent, please. Are you kidding? Oopsie. He Listen, did not do I, his I'm homework. Tired, I'm he tired of talking do about him. I don't want to talk about him. A lot of people were saying they have conspiracy theories. Oh, well, he heard you're going to stop talking about him, and so he said that. I don't see how that benefits him. Yeah, I don't I think don't he really likes me talking about him because I literally am telling people this man is a human trafficker. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a proponent of getting him deplatformed. So I don't see how it benefits him to, for me to keep talking about him. I don't know. Amy, you're a conspiracy theorist with that stuff. What do you think? Uh, whatever you say, boss. I don't well, have I, I, I hope that they listen. Why do you do that? Example. I don't have one for this specific one. I usually say it when I have oh, one. So, so say okay. that. Don't say whatever you say, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> make me seem like whatever, you always got. You whatever you say. Such a like Gary Dell like ball tank, dude. Leash. No, I appreciate you asking. I, I just I don't have one for this. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> whatever you say, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he gives examples on this. I hope. Right, Otherwise, so I'm confused. Here's the cease and desist. Uh, he sent it to me. He says, request to cease and desist all defamation, slander, and or libel of character of reputation. Notice of deliberate misuse. Dear respondents, I am the rep. Oh, if you are the, rep the representative of legal counsel, please direct this uh, letter to your attorney. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada. I represent Mr. Andrew Tate. Yada, yada, yada. You are hereby notifi notified to cease and desist any further unlawful defamation, slander, or libel. Yada, yada, yada. You have to uh, specifically through the date of August 4th. He was really angry about this one because it got like 300,000 likes. No! no! That one. It's a tweet. So brave to have... Uh... So brave to have this uh... sex trafficking, violent, misogynist rapist on. <laughs> and it got like 350,000 likes. 
So he's saying, um, he also says on July 21st, in a title, Biden got COVID, Jordan Pierce's obsession with right-wing comedy, which was viewed more than 890,000 times. Ooh, tell him. Hey, uh, shout <laughs> yeah, me we'll out, call. baby. <laughs> Klein said the following. We talked a lot about Cobra Tate. We had some internal dialogue. What is the best way to represent one who is known as a human trafficker, womanizer, violent, womanizing freak? Uh, yeah, that was it. You know how he really made his money before all that? He was a human traffic digital pimp. You know that like uh, the American embassy raided his <laughs> compound like because he was holding women against their will. Yeah, bro, he is literally a human trafficker. He's really that person. He's frankly scary. Someone who's fucked up is out there. And he, wait, the this they're saying of defamation? He's really that person. It's frankly scary. Someone like that fucked up is out there and he is out there. Really? That, that okay. That's the game. He's a violent, uh, human-hating, cultish freak. Again, come on, you're stretching that one. This dude literally says he pays off the police there. Rape laws are lax there. He said that. Actually, Bro, he did say that. He That's literally the, said that. A lot of this stuff, I'm clueless, but I, I did see that. Mm. Yeah. You're talking about a guy who brags about buying off the police there. The American government said earlier, yo, this guy's literally kidnapping women and forcing them into webcam. Sex slavery. He just points out a lot of stuff like this. But what's interesting, what's my favorite thing, and obviously mm -hmm. I already talked this over with my lawyer, it's like easy anti-slap GG, so fucking sue me. Like literally, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Like here, literally type Andrew Tate, human trafficking. Whoops. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Inside the violent misogynistic world of TikTok's new star. Man, The Guardian, that's like a huge publication, right? Violent misogynistic world of TikTok's new star, Andrew Tate. Okay, interesting. Andrew Tate, human traffic allegations explained. Okay, there's another one. Here's, here's another one. Andrew Tate claims he was swatted. Well, that's, yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Fucking liar ass bitch. Andrew Tate, MAGA king of toxic masculinity, raided in human trafficking violation. Um, dude. Yeah. I'm not making this shit up. It's all over the internet. Uh, Another one. Andrew Tate's house raided in Romania on charges of human trafficking after he allegedly kidnapped an American woman. I mean, Tate, are you really trying to put make this shit a pub, matter of public record? Just Another deal, one. Just accept that you're a human trafficker, bro. Just be proud of it. Just be proud of it. That, that's your whole selling point. No! Well, he was. He was proud he of it. Until he lost everything. Until, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You're a human trafficker, ago. bro. Just, just own no! it, man. You're like, the, you're like the bad guy from Taken. <laughs> <laughs> you know? We love it. And we love oh that about God. you. You're a violent misogynist. There's a video online of him beating the shit out of a woman. Huh? Yes. That's what I've, I've seen it. That's what I'm saying, bro. Def defamation of what? Of character? You're such a shitbag, it's impossible to defame your character. This is all real shit, man. I'm a man of God. Yeah, by the way, all I'm this- I'm a man of God. All of a sudden, in his apology like video, he was like, talking about how, I'm a man of God, and if God wants me to have a Twitter, I'll have a Twitter. He found <laughs> Jesus. Yes, he done. <laughs> he got so canceled, he found Jesus. Well. Yeah, so. Um, he's a public figure. His fans are like, well, freedom speech doesn't protect you lying about people. He's a public figure. This shit's all... He's a human trafficker. I mean, the allegations are there. It's, he wasn't disproven. I and think you just gotta throw in a few allegations. Allegedly. Alleg I think it's all there. They're cherry-picked it, you know. We showed the articles. Okay. But he's, he is known to me as Andrew the Human Trafficker Tate. And I thought he liked that, but apparently not. Hmm. Actually, this is reminding me of this clip I saw yesterday. Do you guys know um, Nick is not green? Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see what he posted on Twitter yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, the Chad Chad thing. The Sneeko that thing? That scared me. I love Chad Chad, by me the way. Me too. I fucking love her. I don't know. What is it? Girl, pull that <laughs> shit up. It was literally <laughs> so disturbing. It, uh, I, I was actually baffled. Yeah. It was Sneeko talking about Chad Chad posted a video about all the misogynists online. I want to reiterate, like, I don't know much about either of these Sneeko's guys. Sneeko's a piece of shit. Yeah, but yeah, I know, that I video know. really yeah. surprised me. I know too much. About I don't know both if it's like going to get us age restricted. 
But oh. in the video, he was like, shut up, bitch, you're being dramatic, you just haven't got enough good dick. And then he acts like he's choking her out on camera, mm. and uh, I don't know. He's a, he's a Andrew Tate. He looks up to Andrew Tate. That's like his idol. He mm. simulates pretty much sexual assault on the camera mm. and aimed it at a creator. I wonder if YouTube's so done funny. anything mm. about it. Uh, I think Sneeko's Twitter was Chad? pulled down. Yeah, she's great. She's hilarious. She posts uh, like Chad response Chad? videos. So he was talking about her? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Her content is so funny. Agreed. Uh. Shout out Chad. So Chad. creative, so well made. So I funny. don't know. I, I would love to see Ela's reaction to the video, but if it I'll show, is I'll risky, show it. it's okay. Ban him from the platform. I'll show, I'm gonna keep I, this I video mean, to be fair, if they allowed it on this video, channel, they should allow it on yours. Do you guys think this is a... Uh... Just trigger warning. Uh, I don't think it'll get banned. Maybe cut For away sure. when he starts doing like the Freak. the miming of assaulting her. You can just take oh. it off camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. But today yeah, yeah. I want to briefly talk about. Yeah, this guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Nick. He's he's a good good dude. I like his yeah, content. Yeah, he makes great YouTube. Nick videos. is not green. The content creator Sneeko and ask YouTube to ban him from the platform. I'm gonna keep this video really short because I just want to say my piece and give Sneeko and his fans as little ammunition to fire back as possible because we know that every time someone utters his name on YouTube, he feels the need to make five videos crying about women and society or whatever. And before we begin, I do want to say that most. Most of the time, I don't believe that deplatforming someone is the proper way to deal with a controversy. A lot of times, creators that I disagree with on a personal level are mostly harmless, and I don't believe that disagreeing with someone's personal values are ground for removal from YouTube or Twitch or any other social media platform. In general, policing content can be dangerous, but as you're about to see, Sneeko has grossly violated YouTube's terms of service and qualifies for removal from the website. Now, I'm not going to go into too much depth here, but if you don't already know who Sneeko is, he is a gaming and commentary content creator who continues to spread extremely harmful messages to a rapidly growing audience, usually violently ranting about women, politics, or men wearing makeup. He's sort of like the new Andrew Tate now that he's not on the platform anymore. He was recently banned off Twitter and now has two channel strikes on YouTube, but I'm not exactly sure what the reason for that is. Now, a little over a month ago, Sneeko went on he his live stream to, to talk uh, about one Nick of my- Fuentes, who's like a, he's basically a not the Nazi, and I know people overuse that. He, what they were talking on his stream about how, uh, how uh, the Jewish question about uh, Jews running everything and basically like really deep anti-Semitic shit. So he was. There is no way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's all connected. <laughs> it, this shit's all connected too. You know, like this conservative womanizing chauvinism. It's like a direct fucking. That's crazy, bro. A direct line into the veins of uh, white nationalism and anti-semitism and all that my friends chad chad who gave me permission to make this video but had no part in the creation of it and it wasn't her idea or suggestion for me to make this he reacted like to a video she made about a tiktok mm -hmm. dating mm -hmm. coach and i'm just gonna play the video here so nothing can be left out of context but i am gonna issue a huge content warning for sexual assault so if that's something that you're uncomfortable with in any way i would leave the video now you know what's so funny about the internet it hides the fact, and like this feminist garbage hides the fact that she's attracted to that guy making the videos. It is what it is. Girls, you could vouch for it. You know it's true. She would. She would. And you know, sister, what's so predictable? You could tell by the way she's talking that she hasn't been properly mm -mm in a long time. It's been a while. So she's on the internet making this garbage video, promoting all this feminist garbage to your fucking lonely girls in the comment section. What you really need, Chad Chad, is some mm, 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 mm. Yeah, shut up. Shut up with your feminism. Yeah, come here, come here. Mm -hmm. That's what you need. And she's gonna go, ha, ha, ha. That's what you need. You need some sense back into you. And you know what they're gonna do right Jeez. after I did that? They're gonna cut that part and say I'm an incel problematic, but you know it's true. You can hear it in her voice. She hasn't been properly <clears throat> in too long. And now you make no sense. That's what happens, man. That's what happens, yo. Someone vouch for me. You know it's true. No, I don't think I have to I, he's a dream. He's a dream boat, His isn't he? Chat Jesus. Is spamming L. <laughs> I think they're just spamming L for her because they love that shit. I like to think it's for him. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Nick's in the chat. What's up? Uh, he just yo. became a member. Let's go. Nick is this guy that we're watching. Nick's the guy. Okay. No, I'm just yeah, that's Nick. He's a good dude. What Wait, a dream a boat, though. No, the thing. Can person, I just yeah. say for anyone watching at home, the audio is bad it still doesn't do the video justice like seeing it yeah ooh, he simulates hitting her and choking her and 
And he seven. simulates her being like scared. I'm so confused. I personally... Honestly, when I see stuff like this, I what I see is someone who honestly is trying really hard to appease and entertain an mm -hmm. audience that just wants them to be more and more extreme. Mm -hmm. That like they don't even realize how fucked up the things that they're doing is, a, are I, anymore. I see it as a feedback loop. Yeah. The audience yeah. demands him to get more extreme. Yeah. And he can never walk anything back or they'll turn on them. Yeah. So it's like they get worse and worse it's and worse. It's a bad spiral. cycle, dude. Yeah, but I, I think he's a perfect dreamboat. I always dreamed of perfect having a dreamboat. What's that? Yeah. He's I don't just know dreamy. He's perfect. Nick? No, fucking uh, so uh, uh, Sneeko. I always dreamed of having a dad who beats the shit out of my mom, <laughs> you know, beats me, leaves when I'm fucking five. What's a dreamboat? Yeah, what's, what's a dreamboat? You guys don't know, what about crazy? Dreamboat, yeah. like, he, like, like he's a, a hottie? A dream come true. Yeah. Okay, what, 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 it is a little... Uh, it is a I'm making the joke here, yeah. guys. Yeah, he's no, just no, like, so like, so so never heard that dreamboat. <laughs> Y'all never heard dreamboat? No, I've heard it. Yeah. He's just like a nightmare a little, boat, though. It's a, little, <laughs> it's a little boomer. He's dreamy. Does that work? <laughs> dreamy. Really. That also what? Works. Dreamy. <laughs> dreamy works. He's but so also, dreamy. He's like rolled. Nick is on the screen, yes. and you're like, he's on dreamy. The and oh like, my god! You know, he's chilling, smiling. With no, he's, the no, he's dreamy. He's dreamy too, but not <laughs> the same way. I've always dreamed. Sure Let me make my joke, please. I've always dreamed of having a dad like like Sneeko, who beats the shit yeah. out of my mom, yeah. beats the shit out of me, leaves when I'm five, and starts a, a new joke, family. If I'm being honest. Oh, That's who he's role playing yeah, as. Yeah. He's he's role playing as like a toxic, fucking, disgusting, <laughs> house ruining dad. I, it's not bad. And he's saying, "Yo, you know you want to fuck me." Like he's he's so, a, he's a, he's no, a perfect the, man. You are kind of delivering it in the same way you deliver things that you actually mean. <laughs> oh, I was getting there. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the flow is gone. The flow is gone. It's okay. He's, All right. He's the dreamboat. These yeah. things okay. happen. Dreamboat. <laughs> I don't okay. Get the boat. All right. <laughs> I saw someone say he's a doom canoe, and I really like that. That's cute. He's a doom canoe. <laughs> doom canoe. That's fucking. It's cute. every child's fantasy. You know, you know, you want he's him. He's a doom paddle boat. He's every girl's dream. That's what he yeah. acts like. He's like, you know, you want a guy who's going to destroy your life and the your family. The problem is that I Truly. think that the people who listen actually do think that. And, and that's yes, not problem. funny. Yeah, but they're none of my business. But anyway, here, I'll let Nick finish the video because he does uh, do a call to action here. <laughs> Explain why this is disgusting. Sneeko is harassing a female content creator, telling her that the reason why she's so upset is because she hasn't had sex in a while. And then he proceeds to aggressively simulate a sexual assault on Chad Chad in his live stream in front of thousands of people. And like I said, there are creators who I disagree with. And then there are people like Sneeko who actively threaten other creators on YouTube, spread hate speech, and overall make YouTube a less enjoyable and more dangerous place for everybody who's on it. Not to mention that this clip alone obviously violates YouTube's community guidelines around harassment. YouTube has banned creators even recently for much less, and I think that this is an obvious instance of a creator who is now causing more harm by existing on this site. And this isn't even about free speech. This is about taking action when a content creator spreads messaging like this, and I think YouTube would agree that someone like this definitely does not belong on their platform. If you watch this video and you also believe that Sneeko should be banned from YouTube, you can go to his channel pages, click about, and then click the flag icon on the right side of the page and report the user. Thank you for watching. Have there a nice day. And I'm doing that right now. He's like a, it's like a Ryan K. Listen, if you think he should be reported, then go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I kind of appreciate that people are willing to say that because for the longest time, if you said yeah, like, I've never seen someone say that. That's it's mm -hmm. like, oh, you can never call someone out. You can never call for someone to lose sponsors. You can never yeah. call for someone like, to get oh, in trouble. Oh, you're for deep platforming. It's like, bro, how dare never, you? Never you, ever yes, do it. It's death. But my point about that is like, everybody's for deep platforming. It's just a matter of where you draw the line because. I don't think most of these guys are for ISIS having a YouTube channel, right? I just couldn't. I couldn't believe I saw I saw that with my eye, my very own eyes. I don't know, man. Which is worse, that or this freeway prolapse? <laughs> that. Yeah, that. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Something that I've seen a, a trend that I see recently that I find kind of bothersome. Um, I see a, a lot of people, especially in regards to Twitch, compare sexual content with a variety of other things like they're like oh my god i see boobs on twitch but like this person can't be on twitch and it's like they're very different things mm. and it makes me realize how conditioned we've been to think that like sexual things are the worst thing on earth mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. When it's like, yeah, of course they like don't belong on Twitch as a platform, but it's not some cleavage. I just don't think it's the same as, <laughs> for example, violent uh, I'd, chauvinism. I'd much rather see a pair of titties, ten, <laughs> twenty. Yeah, it's yeah. different. It's different. <laughs> then hear that? Oh my I'd lord! I'd rather. I want to see titties regardless. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Where are them titties at? Why are we complaining out here? I'm confused. <laughs> see some titties. <laughs> you know what I'm Anyways, saying? <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like they're not really things to be compared. Wait, his channel's gone? Somebody's saying his channel's gone. Can we confirm that? Sneeko? Yeah. I don't see Someone said they want to report and his channel's gone. Unless it literally happened like in the last 10 minutes because I... Yeah, no. Wants to go. Here he is. Oh. Sorry. (laughs) Fake news. Excuse me. I don't know much about this. Wait, that's his main channel. His second channel's the one, his offending channel. The other one isn't down either. The other one isn't down either, so... All right. Yeah, but that, I think that's a great thing to hit him with. Is like I am against deplatforming. I don't support Andrew Tate, but I roll with free speech. That's what Jake Paul said, which I think is so funny. Like you don't have a fucking bro. You've never thought about free speech. That in was a such a way. disappointment. I thought for once he had like a good take, and then I found out he did. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you see, Logan had a good take about it, though. Did you see that? No, I didn't. See uh, let me pull that up. Logan Paul was just straight up like, "Yeah, this guy's a horrible influence, and I think it's a good thing he's gone." I was like, "Okay, Logan. Okay, Wogan. Wogan. Wogan." Responded to that. Wait, where is it? Yeah, his audience is a little. Here, uh, AB just shared it. Yeah, he has more Manosphere fans than we do for sure. I saw some people angry about it. I don't. Actually, all of the comments are angry. This guy is always going to bow down to companies that made him. A lot of them are like, "Dude, all you're known for is filming a dead body. You shouldn't say shit." Pathetic stand from someone who was canceled and given a second chance. It's like all, all, all bad. How is that related? Oh my god, happy birthday, Keanu Reeves. Oh. <laughs> Shout out. He's 56. Wow. The ageless king. An ageless king. All right, so let's let's see what Logan has. We're going to dive into Andrew Tate. I don't feel like platforming this guy. I don't feel like giving him the blessing of being my dance partner in the ring. Especially after the social media platforms have made it very clear how they feel about this guy, right? And, and, and I would even, I would even, I would even um, put a little call out here to like fellow creators and even JJ, like, you wanna re-platform this guy? Anyone, you wanna have him on your shows? You wanna, you wanna give him another opportunity to speak and, 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 and spread his agenda? Because um, whether you believe it or not the shit that andrew tate is saying will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine because his narrative is truly hateful his rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it and it will affect impressionable young people in a way that will not show until years from now bro why are they in a prohibition bar (laughs) (laughs) alcohol is legal bro (laughs) <laughs> you um, get through yeah, one I video agree. without yeah. talking shit about Logan Paul. I, that, what got a W thing here? <laughs> Dude, prohibition's legal. You don't have to hide anymore. You are Stop pathologically Stop hating me. He just said hate. something Stop wonderful. Stop hating you. I think it's great. I think it's kind of cool. And the thing he's saying is especially brave because I know he has a lot of Manosphere yeah. fans. Yeah. Yeah. So he's sticking too. his neck out, and I think yeah. that's good. I actually don't know what his fan base is like, but I can only assume, obviously, like as a kind of men's podcast obviously most of their demographic i assume is also guys mm-hmm. yeah, yeah so I, i'm curious how they responded to that they seem angry <laughs> oh no this is twitter you should check the actual yeah video the actual video to yeah, see what their point. community is oh, like sure. everybody on twitter is angry <laughs> yeah <laughs> count for much. yeah you know i think it's mike i think mike's a good influence on logan i think that's what it is really here's the mic though Team mike now good guy i will mike. say Frankly speaking, I didn't have the best impression of Mike until he came on your podcast. Yeah, a lot of people said that. And then I was like, okay, redemption arc. Yeah, Yeah. no, he came off very well on that. Yeah, he did. Everyone everyone liked him. He did. Would you say that Mike is a (laughs) dreamboat? Mike's not not in the same way. He's not going to destroy my childhood and my family and make me grow up with personality disorders. So no. (laughs) That's my ideal dreamboat. So no. Yeah. Okay, Ethan. He has built a platform on this return to alpha masculine traditionalist beliefs where, uh, you know, woman at center of household, uh, cooking for the kids, cleaning, raising the kids, man at war, whatever. I love cleaning. I'm so good at cleaning. And he's, he's <laughs> been spewing this you. rhetoric now for a long time. <laughs> the situation, the issue is with all of that is 
Why he is, is not table a, a so tradition. big, bro? Stop. You could literally build a ship from this fucking the amount of wood at this. I. Why does the table so? Big? Ethan, I wish we had a table that big. Ooh. Our table is too small. At least they don't have unflattering Ooh. shots. Like, that one's uh, too big. It's not just pointed at the crotches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, at least their fucking guts are obscured by this massive table. <laughs> I'm like, look at, these, look at these guys. Kirby oh. sitting at the table. It's okay. Tell me they don't hate me looking at this. Oh, you know, I, I always find these kind of videos so funny because <laughs> it makes me wish that I could sit at that table and talk to them and be like, listen, y'all, I am someone who, not to flex, but I've made a good enough amount of money. And honestly, what I need in my life I need a stay-at-home husband. I need someone who knows how to cook. I'm clueless. I need someone who knows how to clean. <laughs> like, I've always dreamed about being a dream, uh, uh, stay-at-home husband. I am the that exact opposite of, of what they described, girl. straight up. I could be, though. Ethan does cook for me, though. Yeah. I could be a stay-at-home husband. Yeah, she's got the biggest business in yeah, the clothing industry. Let's fucking go. That'd be awesome. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I'm intimidated. I need you to stay home because I'm intimidated by your success. Right. <laughs> and you earning your own money removes my power over you. No, honestly, for me, like a nice life, I, I really would not mind being with someone. And like, you don't even need a job. Let's just chill. <laughs> like when you make money, why, why do you have to be worried about like gender roles or whatever? Let's like go. just have a nice life. Let's go. I make my, and That's actually, what I'm talking about. Oh my God. If you guys don't mind me just sharing random stories. I went on a date with this guy once. First, first date, and you <laughs> date. We met on this app that was meant to be for like Middle Eastern people, because I was like, oh. I've <laughs> never, I've never gone out with someone of a similar ethnicity as me. Mm. So I was like, yeah, let's test it out. Whatever. <laughs> One of the things he said was like, and I, I was sure he had like Googled me or whatever, and he was like, I really love the idea of like a power couple. And I was like, oh, okay. And this is after I told him, like, a business that I was going to come out What's with. My power? management agency. Pardon? What's his power? He sells a certain product. He has an online business. Okay. And he's like, yeah, I really love the idea of a power couple, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, so you like me? I see, I see. <laughs> and then he's, he says, I wouldn't be okay with someone, for example, just being a hairdresser. And I, what? I was, yeah, I was like, what like for someone who owns a business and probably makes six figures plus like why should you care at all i think he had a really fucked up way of trying to compliment you like a really stupid really? bad way to compliment you mm. to He's me like, i'm so like damn special. capitalism brainwashed you <laughs> <laughs> for me if anything like and i've also seen guys who are really really um like very successful, but oftentimes those people don't have a lot of time. And I know mm -hmm. I'm busy and I'm stressed out. What, why would I want to date someone who's also busy and stressed out? Sure. <laughs> you know? So are we doing, is this a call out to uh, so the chat really is everywhere? No! Yeah. <laughs> the chat is loving what Dude. they're hearing. They're oh, like, po marry oh, po me. <laughs> <laughs> pokey, si pokey looking at, uh, at gmail.com. Honestly, the now? more money I've accrued, the less I care about money at all. At like at all, I don't think it is reflective of a person's character whatsoever how much money they make, and I think it really bothers me when people also view because others that way. you've probably like got to meet a lot of like oh, shitty yeah. people yeah. with money, but like disgusting people. Don't don't meet your idols. <laughs> what is and your... don't check who follows Andrew Tate on Instagram. <laughs> oh yeah, scary, scary. Well, he doesn't have an Instagram anymore, so. Oh true. <laughs> there go. What is your financial situation? Are you set for life? Uh, yeah, I could retire. Nice. There you go, man. Set up a perfect... Could, That's man at home. <laughs> Some guys are saying, like... No, I'm serious. Pokey. That, <laughs> that was my They're dream. They're falling in love with you. Up, <laughs> Honestly, I'd, I would even be down to have a roommate. I'm like, I will pay for your existence. Just hang out. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you work. Work sucks. <laughs> I know. We should all just be a little more hippie. There's lots of, quote, real men who are looking to uh, <laughs> play video games with you in the chat. I don't want to play video games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. If um, you cook and clean, that's dope. Because the way I view a partnership is like, you want to be able to learn from each other, grow from each other. What I'm lacking in life is definitely that aspect. <laughs> Round me out a little bit. The, the thing is, too, 
there's no problem with a woman as a couple deciding that she wants to be at home and take care of the family stuff. It's the mm -hmm. yeah. it's like you have to do this because you're a exactly. woman. Yeah. And, exactly. Yeah. And, and this, there's nothing wrong with the man doing it either. I, mean, it's totally I, fine. I remember like growing up thinking to myself, when I grow up, I'm going to make my own money. Hell yeah. And I've always liked like expensive brands for clothing. Couldn't afford it, but I've always like dreamed of it. And I was like, I'm going to afford my own shit. I really appreciate that my mom, I feel, instilled those values in me, too. She's like, always be good on your own first. I mean, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and, Eli, you have always been like that. You've always been, like, a hustler working and making your own money and shit. Oh, yeah. That's why I feel like you guys deserve all the success you have and more. <laughs> more. <laughs> more. More, more, more. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see what Mike has to say at this massive fucking table. What's the echo like in that room? <laughs> you know? Mike, I love the table. How do you Great, great job. How do you even <laughs> Reach out to me, Mike. I want to know who made that table. No. Well, I want to meet that Absolutely table. Absolutely not. I want to meet that table. I want to sit on that table. <laughs> in his own life, he has no family. He has no wife. He's 37 years old. With 36. A, with a Bugatti and he, a jet. He has made the majority of his money off of cam girls. Only fans management Pyramid and scene. casinos. Okay, the, Wait, the, is he talking about the downfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's rum it's rumored that he's involved in casinos and the Romania mafia and all mm -hmm. this shit. I don't anything about that. All I know is he's a human trafficker. Are she? Allegedly. According to an oh, investigation. Yes. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. That's Can I just say before any <laughs> Andrew or Sneeko fanboys come at me, I don't know much about these people. They popped off while I was gone. I was just baffled to see certain things. Well, I'm sure they're at home screaming uh, how ugly home. you are. Yeah, so. don't worry. They hate I you already. You I'm ugly. I hope you think I'm so ugly that you never interact with me ever. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even cat call you. <laughs> I wouldn't even harass you on the street. I, so yeah, ugly. I hope you think I'm so ugly you won't harass me on any platform ever. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, no, but for real, the, the, uh, the United States government tipped off the Romanian police that he's a human trafficking people, so... Wow. Hand you tape. Yep. Yeah. There you have it. Uh, very good. Balls of the traditionalist male. <laughs> and so my question is, and my, my interest and my curiosity is, how can you preach a return to traditionalism and conservatism Ooh. when your entire platform and your entire net worth Ooh. is based on the same things that you preach against? Spin. That's my curiosity. Because that's and how my, it makes his now, money. Now, okay, white. Oh, okay. Okay, Magic White. Well, it, it, okay. Just, it gets darker the more you listen to Andrew Tate. He's like, well, she's my property. So she's doing what I <laughs> yeah, tell I her to that. do. I saw that one. And then where he's it's like, my, my money. Bro can have an OnlyFans. Yeah, and then I'll just, just profit me. the money. Yeah, yeah, she's my property. No, but in that moment, I'm like, you're, you, he knows he's trolling. I don't know. There's a bit trolling. No. He's but intentionally it's... trolling to like, be sensational. People say that, mm -hmm. but I think that gives him too much credit. Yeah. I think he is that shitty. I think it's shitty to still say it, no matter what. Mm. My point yeah. is just like, I feel like you have to be, to really believe it. I don't even think he believes some of the stuff he says. He just keeps- Yeah, going. maybe. Like Alex yeah. Jones vibe, like how he- When he mixes in <laughs> stuff, like he, there, there's clips of him being like, I don't, I only eat once a week. I absorb my power from the sun. That's and obviously like, a joke. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he but mixes it in with thing. the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's what I would look like at that table much better. This is like uh, Kirby, <laughs> Super Nintendo Kirby, yeah. which is much more flattering than Jigglypuff. <laughs> you know, uh, give me a fucking break here. No! This, this is an angle I can live with. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, so he continues, he says, he he keeps taking my awesome quotes and putting them out there. I, I love that he's like, this video got a billion views, by the way. <laughs> this one got 1.1 1. 1 like, million. Yeah, fucking did. Let's go, baby. <laughs> There's one other thing. Biggest podcast on YouTube. Let's Woo! fucking go. <laughs> go to the podcast tab on YouTube. We're number one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, hey, look, this is a great quote. He goes, there's one thing we got to talk about, which is our very own Hassan Piker got the opportunity to debate Cobra Tate, the human trafficker. <laughs> and that's his moniker. That's who he's known. Like, like Alexander nickname. the Great. Mm -hmm. That's the game. <laughs> Alex, uh, 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 Jeff the Dunham. I don't know. Who, what other Jeff? Attila the Hun. Hassan the, uh, what? 
Attila the Hun. Yeah, the Hun. <laughs> and and uh-huh. Cobra Tate, the human trafficker. Right. The, you know, it's like Civ Five. It's the, his title. I gotta read this comment. Kirby, your enthusiasm. Oh. <laughs> Man, I, this was a mistake wearing this shirt. <laughs> I thought yeah, I'm gonna. Trying to be supportive. Oh, I thought no. I'm gonna be colorful. I'm gonna oh, wear no. the new drop. No, I'm fucking. A I PPG love it. No, honestly, Kirby. I, I think it. it looks great on you. Honestly. Yeah. Uh huh. No, I'm serious. The damage is done. <laughs> Power wearing level it is again. over nine thousand. I think in man shirt. in pink is like an alpha move. Oh yeah. In my <laughs> opinion, I used to think that, but I think men in pink nowadays is more of a fuckboy thing. Turned into like a yacht club fuckboy thing. Oh. Oh, I see. Because we saw, be oh, an cool. F boy, the girl yeah. said that. She oh, was right. like, that's an and F boy right. sign. Right. <laughs> Wearing pink used to be cool, <laughs> but now it turned into like a yacht club fucking womanizer Andrew Tate thing. <laughs> In my experience, Chats or DBZ, saying, or DBZ character. Chats, a lot of people saying pink's a good color on you, Ethan. Yeah. I love the pink, Ethan. I like, I like the pink. Yeah. Oh, oh somebody other... called you Patrick Star, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, his machine gun But the shirt looks nice on Ethan, you know. All right, well, if you like it so much, go buy it, Teddy Fresh Dog. <laughs> Do they describe why anything that you said is incorrect or, like, show proof? Yeah, they, they, so, so they continue. Good um, question. <laughs> but I like he keeps giving me shut up, dude. otherwise. Yada, yada. Yeah. He keeps saying that I called him a human trafficker, yada, yada. The California law says I can't lie. Analysis. Client has repeatedly false defamatory statements about our client to a worldwide internet audience. Thank you for saying that. I know. <laughs> Appreciate you. Client has stated that our client is a rapist and a human trafficker. Oh, by the way, if you Google um, Andrew Tate rape, which, you know, I don't oh, suggest anyone Lord. do that, but. Oh, it said he was charged. He was investigated for human trafficking and rape, right? Where do we see that? He also, yeah. When they raided him, you saw that, Dan. You showed me that. Uh, yeah, um, uh, that was in the Guardian article, and th- there was an update saying that they had reached out to the Romanian authorities and that the investigation is ongoing. Which that's that's the thing that's is interesting. He, the 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 raid that happened, he did like a stream where he debunked it um, and claimed that he was swatted and that the girl wasn't kidnapped. She was lying and saying that. Um, she only said that she was kidnapped so she didn't get in trouble with her boyfriend. This is all his explanation for it or whatever. And then he said the cops came, they saw what was going on, they left, no big deal. And all of his fans constantly repeat that of like, oh, what are you talking about? He already disproved those allegations. He can say whatever he wants. He can lie as much as he wants. The Guardian reached out to the authorities. But they asked about it. The investigation is still ongoing. The so Romanian authorities. He has not been cleared. Also, the U.S. government is not. He goes, I've been swatted. That's what he says. He's like, I've been swatted. Uh, creators get swatted all the time. That's all that happened. Huh? The United States government reached out. Look at this. The Romanian authorities said last week that the investigation later explained to cover human trafficking and rape allegations was ongoing. There it is. Open. Well, in that case, I guess it's fair to say that he is being investigated for those things. For those allegations. Mm -hmm. Yep. No! Also, when explaining why why he moved to Romania, he was saying like, well, the 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 rape uh, laws here are a lot looser. Pull it up. And and he said, like, his quote is, I like the idea of doing what I want. Mm-hmm. Right, Which is exactly. like, oh, okay, so you like what the idea. What do you think you're saying you when you say yeah. that? Exactly. He knows. He, he described a scenario, I think, that was like, if a girl drinks and then she lets you... She changes her mind. Then she changes her mind later, which is basically sounding to me like... He promotes... Oh, we went like, back like, home, but the baby's like, nope. Yeah, yeah. and then you he's he like dirty victim um, shaming or whatever. I don't know how to say it, but it's basically sounding to me like he may have done some awkward... Let's pull up the clip just for posterity because I know his lawyers are watching. We do. I don't want to like end the show, but we do have to be home at a certain time. That mm-hmm. might be soon. <laughs> uh, let me keep going. Just cease and desist. We hereby uh, request the immediate provide evidence to us. Well, here I'm doing that for you about statements made in your post or uh, cease and desist, illegal defamation, slander, or libel within the next 24 hours. Again, it went to spam three days. You are required to move all content and posts across your channels that are not limited to social media, Twitter, YouTube, which defame our client. This action should be done in 24 hours. Again, it went to spam. I didn't even see this for three days. Suck my dick. 
Uh, you're also required to return the sign written assurance below, uh, affirming that you will not. We haven't even replied to him. I don't care. Failure to comply. Uh, <laughs> Why does please be guided accordingly sound religious? <laughs> it's a Ryan Kavanaugh. Please mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't notice it until I was uh, exporting all of this, but the other guy that is currently suing Ethan said of almost almost word for word the same thing. What was his? Well, govern yourself govern accordingly. Yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's our next merch. Yeah, <laughs> I think it should be. Guiding guide yourself accordingly. Is it, he send, he ends by saying failure to comply with the cease and desist request, yada yada yada, will leave us no alternative but to pursue all legal remedies. Come at me, bro. If you refuse to return the written assurance below, our firm intends to file a lawsuit. Come, again, uh, I don't fucking care. Uh, uh, yada, yada, yada. Come, assume me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Should we, should we talk about I actually should put that on firm? a shirt. Sue me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like care. with the number of <laughs> lawsuits you've been through. <laughs> Dubs. Yeah. I mean, and so, just far check marks. I'm, dub, dub, so far dub, I'm dub. three and oh. It's three and zero. Oh. That's a great record. And I still have two more open copyright and defamation, defamation, and maybe even a, a new one coming. Oh, this, this is his lawyer's the fuck website. Up. It's unattractive. Yeah, so we looked up <laughs> we his lawyer. We love a good stock <laughs> image. And it's all about crypto. This is his lawyer. Like the entire thing: blockchain, this security. It, that crypto yeah. shit. His lawyer doesn't know anything. The about pioneers about it. in online gaming. Wow. That he's probably he probably doesn't know anything about defamation law. He's probably never even drafted a brief about defamation in his life. So, I'm his lawyer's a fucking joke too. But if uh, if I have any question about blockchain utilization, <laughs> uh, we'll definitely <laughs> certainly reach out. Yep. Um, but Shut anyway, up. not scared, don't care. Um, there's a couple other things because they asked for evidence. Send me the video of him saying that he moved to Romania for rape. I sent it. Thank you. Yeah, here, Pokey. Maybe you, have... you can reply and be like, this "Can you prove totally... that these things aren't real?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I'm not. We're not responding to them. If they want to sue me, they're gonna have to send the documents. But. You know, when you want to make a real cease and desist threat, the real baller way to do it is to attach the brief, the complaint already fully written. Ooh. That's what Matt Haas did, and that was some real shit. So we knew he was going to sue us. So shout out to them. They did. They did a, you know, a gangster it's crazy way. You've been through so much law oh, yeah. bullshit that you yeah, can. Dude. You even know that. <laughs> That's the real gangster way, though. You're like, yo, take Look that shit this. down. Here's the brief. We'll yes, file it sir. tomorrow. Just being, just working with Ethan for this many years, I, I have learned so much more about defamation law than I thought <laughs> I ever would. Yeah. So he says. He goes, bro, what the fuck? I'm not like a womanizer. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a rapist. I mean, listen, um, let's see. This is probably 40% of the reason I moved to Romania because in Eastern Europe, none of this garbage flies. If you're gonna go to the police and say he raped me back in 1988, you're gonna say we should have done something about it then. If you go to the police and say he raped me yesterday, you say, okay, have you got physical evidence? Or is there CCTV proof? Where'd it happen? Okay, let's go interview him right now. And if it wasn't really right, oh, I said, oh, we went to the club, we got drunk, she agreed to go back to my house, we started having sex, and then we carried on having sex, and then we had sex, and she didn't say anything wrong, and then she texted me afterwards, and I didn't text back, and now she's saying I raped her. The police would be like, okay, she's an idiot, bye. But it, it, no, not in the West. In the West, you can tell them that exact story, you're still fucked. You're fucked in the West. When people say, why did you in Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is the Me Too era. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a fucking rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say, to, to do what I want. I like being free. And if you're a man living in England or Germany or America or any of the Western world right now, you've decided to live in a country where any woman, any ex, any fucking bitch who works at Greg's who you bought a pasty from, at some point in the future can destroy your yeah this has obviously happened to him a lot i'm not yeah. worried about the girl who works at greg's randomly accusing me of a. Uh, it makes me so sad sometimes seeing on the internet like people tackle topics that deserve such nuance like rape allegations false or true and then they tackle it like this mm -hmm. like any bitch can it's like e even your rhetoric shows very clearly how you feel yeah if you want to make a valid point this is just not the way to do it he's not the way to do it is not by yeah. saying i'll do what i want that <laughs> yeah. i don't know yeah but my favorite part about this is that if he does sue us the reply is going to be full of all this heinous shit he did and it's just going to be the read of a lifetime <laughs> um here what also he says that he's not a human trafficker here he says, why am I an expert on all male-female interactions? 
I've been running a webcam studio for nearly a decade. This was on his. Oh, uh, he's a pickup artist. This was his website. Uh, is this it? was his land. Yeah, he he was selling courses on how to be uh, pick up chicks. I see. This is what he said about himself. I've been running a webcam studio for nearly a decade. I've had over 75 girls work for me, and my business model is different than 99% of the webcam owners. Over 50% of my employees were actually my girlfriend at a time. All of all my wait, girlfriends, none were in the adult inter entertainment industry before they met me. My job was to make women fall in love with me. I literally, that was my job. My job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, see if she's quality, get her to fall in love with me, and to see where, uh, to see, get her to where she'd do anything I say. And then get her on the webcam, and then we could become rich <gasps> together. So Whether you agree or disagree mm -hmm. with what I did with their loyalty, submission, and love for me doesn't matter. You cannot reject the results, and the results are simple. My girlfriend would do more for me than 99.9% .9 of men's wives do for them. This is deleted, of course, but we've got the receipts. So this is a cool motherfucker, the <laughs> PhD program. He's like, yo, my business model was basically to manipulate and human traffic women into my fucking webcam dungeon. I'm confused. He said half of them are his girlfriend. So did he have more than one girlfriend at once mm -hmm. or just m most yeah. of his girlfriends he convinced to do? It seems like they know. were at one time his girl. I, don't I think know. he's, he's OK. I'm he's OK with girl. him having multiple girlfriends, but not the opposite. A woman can't have. No way. Yeah. <laughs> what? He said that. Oh, that's yeah. what you want to see that. That's what they <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he said yeah, that. He said that. That one kills me. All right. One wait, more. Wait, wait. Let's just pull that one up for Pokey. OK, OK. Yeah. You what were you going to say? I I'll say it after. Yeah. Yeah, let's just get that one clip that and then we'll end on that. This is this is a great one, yeah. We're gonna have to start the music soon, Ethan, just so you know. The music? Yeah, like on the Oscars where they uh You're gonna play, you're gonna play gonna, me off. We're gonna play you off. Just give me that clip, and then you can play me off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that this isn't going great, we're having a great time, but yeah. you Aww. you guys have a deadline and somewhere to be. Do we? So. Got oh. places to be. I wrote. Oh, you did? We have to be somewhere? Oh shit, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, our baby sister has to leave. Oh. Whoops. Okay, Understandable. well. Uh, did you send the link? What are you looking for? The video of him saying he can date multiple women, but they. I don't know if it's easy to find. Yeah. It, I mean, there's right. such a sea of clips. <laughs> no, it's yeah. a big that, one. It's a, if you can't find it in a minute, we'll see. I was gonna say, <laughs> I feel like when I've heard that kind of argument, it's like I am a high value. They male, say that, literally. I can take care of numerous women at once, mm -hmm. financially and otherwise, so why, you know, why can't I have more girlfriends? Mm -hmm. But then it's like, okay, I got my millies, can I have five boyfriends? You can, Does that everyone's work for cool me with too? it. So a woman can't go around Listen, fucking people I don't and pretend this seems a man. I really people. don't want five boyfriends. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. But like, <laughs> does the same logic not work for women? There's Who nothing wrong with it. In his view, no. Curious. But in his view, he's saying, like, and generally, as a man, all men should do this and all women should do this. Run around fucking men people. can't absolutely cheat, he says, the period. Same. So a woman can't go around fucking people and pretend it's the same as a man running around fucking people. It's absolutely not the same. If I, a man can only cheat if he loves someone else. If I have a woman who I truly love, and I go out and fuck, and I come back to her, and I don't care about her, and I only love my girl, that's not cheating. <laughs> that's exercise. <laughs> if she even talks to a dude, is cheating. Because females are emotionally invested. I have no emotional females. investment. So a woman can't like, go around. Yeah. Also, I love the badass music like That's in the back. That's exercise. <laughs> yeah. The female human. Yeah. Oh, well, that's bro. about it. Did you, is there something you wanted to say? No, that was okay, really funny, yeah. though. Was well, funny. well I, uh, also, though, why can't people just be in open relationships? We live yeah, in a day can. and age where you can do so much. He can, but not you. You can do so much. <laughs> why be so pressed? If you are okay doing that, go find someone else who is okay with that and live a happy, joyful, beautiful life. Well, Andrew you knows are his property. Yeah. Andrew knows that his dick looks like it's been through a meat grinder and the minute his girlfriend sees <laughs> someone Allegedly. else with a normal <laughs> penis that they're going to leave him. He would no! never wear Rick Owens. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. couldn't pull that off ever. <laughs> My neck All right. doesn't exist. Uh, Guys, thank you for watching, Pokey. Thank you so Welcome much. back this was to a the blast. internet. Thank you so much. I love all of you guys. <laughs> thank you for thank coming you. on. Great guest. Just chilling with friends. I would love to be back sometime. Yeah. Great times. Great Absolutely. Time. Uh, thank you guys. Thank uh, you for I feel like we me. could keep going forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, all right. Have a great weekend, everybody. It's Friday, baby. Ow.
Oh, 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 oh. We, uh, important announcement. Oh, God, did I yes, not say there's no show on Monday? I don't think we did, yeah. Oh, fuck. We should pin a con. Labor? We should pin a con. Yeah, the yeah, Labor, labor day. day. Yeah, we're taking Labor we're Day taking off. The, we, we're taking the holiday off, and guys. You deserve the show break. Up and Let's work. go. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, so there's no episode on Monday. With peace and love, I'm sorry. Everybody show enjoy work and work the harder. holiday. Let's... That's been that pokey once again. A pleasure and thank a joy you guys so much. and a privilege. John Ryan too. And uh, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. You're listening to the HP podcast. Who we got on the scene? Could be Papa Shoe Nice or Bill Delphine. We talking front wipe or back wipe? What you gonna do with me then? You know, and the whole damn crew. Goose and gaps with all the guests you'll see. The best podcast in the world. Take it from me, JC. Over chair, HP baby, we podcast now.